Magandang araw Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Ito po ang inyong lingkod, the Philippines number one success coach, John Calub, welcoming you to another episode of Success Community TV. Magandang magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. What an abundant and prosperous Friday it is. TGIF, thank God it's Friday. All right, so bago tayo magsimula, I would like to uh, get everybody excited because for today we have a special uh, guest trainer who will be, uh, you know, will be uh, joining us uh, all the way from the United States of America. And uh, live po natin gagawin itong ano natin, no? itong ating uh, workshop today. And she is actually going to talk to you about a topic na super favorite ni Sir John. And I'm sure a lot of you na, you know, na matagal nang sumusubaybay sa success committee, I'm sure you will actually become very excited uh, pag pag-uusapan din natin. Because today, we're going to talk about, all right, she's actually going to share with you a, a lot of wisdom about the four keys to manifestation. So mamaya po, uh, she's going to explain to you what she has discovered in her journey that actually uh, makes the law of attraction really, really work. Kasi marami na rin po nakarinig niya, no? Na through the law of attraction, pwede kang, you know, pwede mo ma-attract lahat ng pangarap mo, whether kotse yan, bahay, loved one, success, or whatever it is. Pero a lot of people, all right, are wondering, uh, they've done a lot of, you know, things already na, you know, they probably watched... Uh, and read some books about it, pero hindi pa rin nangyayari. So today, we're going to dive deep into a manifestation and she's going to share with you okay, what really makes it uh, you know, truly, truly work. And so we will have uh, three parts to this uh, workshop today. Uh, there will be a part one. Of course, she will be giving you a 40-minute uh, training. And then uh, after that, we will go on a dinner break. And during the dinner break, I will be playing a video while you're uh, eating or taking a break uh, we'll be playing a video about our community. And of course, at the end of our program, the last 40 minutes, she's going to go into the climax of her uh, of her workshop. And the most important part is, of course, the uh, question and answer where you're actually going to receive uh, makakarinig po kayo ng you know, free coaching no? uh, for you know 50 minutes. Although we cannot accommodate everybody, I hope that you will be one of the people who would like to you know, maybe ask a question to our expert for today para lalo pa kayong uh, maliwanagan at matuto dito po sa ating topic. Alright, so uh, bago po tayo magsimula, let's uh, do some greetings maybe for uh, five minutes lang. Uh, I would like to invite you to post if you are actually uh, watching here. Uh, maybe you have some greetings for some friends watching together with you or people you invited to watch. We are live on Facebook right now. No? Uh, Naka-live stream po tayo both in Zoom and Facebook. We are live at www.facebook.com slash John Calub Training. Ayan po, no? So sige po, simulan na natin yung mga shoutouts natin right now. Uh, magandang araw sa iyo, Bong Sidaya, who is watching all the way from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Magandang magandang araw sa iyo, Bong. And uh, greetings daw. Uh, sabi niya, platinum evening. Sabi niya, Sir John, Bong here from Riyadh. Shout out to the Atra Mighty Eagle Tribe. Uh, based in Marikina, Laguna, Makati, Batangas, Davao, Riyadh, Medina, KSA, Jeddah, Vietnam, USA, from Bong, uh, who is the founder of the Atra Mighty Eagle Tribe. Magandang araw po sa lahat ng mga nanonood dyan sa Jeddah, Vietnam, and uh, the rest of the world na naimbita po ni Bong today. We have uh, somebody watching here. Uh, hindi nalagay yung pangalan, no? but uh, gold evening din sa'yo. Whoever you are watching from Oslo, Cebu, uh, shout out daw to the Relentless Empire. Actually, matutuwa po kayo because our guest speaker, although she's based in the US now, she's actually, uh, she used to be uh, based in Cebu. Ayan. So hello po sa lahat ng mga kapwa Bisaya natin, mga Cebuado na nanonood ngayon. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Alright, uh, and we have a first timer here, Ma'am Sharose, uh, Dr. Joy uh, Padi, Padi Tolentino. Ayan, ang nag po kay Ma'am Sharo. Hello po sa inyo, Ma'am. At magandang araw and welcome to Success Community TV. Okay, we have Marisa Banatao. Welcome sa iyo. Fedelina Garas watching from New York City. Hello po sa lahat ng mga nasa New York ngayon. We have Myra. Uh, shout out daw sa Myra Michelle's watching. And uh, shout out to all the Navarro family. Ayan, buong pamilya po ni Ma'am Myra ang nanonood ngayon. We have Margarita uh, who's also watching us from Leyte naman po. Hello po. Nako, mukhang uh, 
kalat na kalat na tayo no all over the world Jomar Sigara Million Grace from Heaven Tribe sir all right hello sa iyo Jomar we have uh, Elaine watching from Abu Dhabi hello daw sa lahat ng movers and shakers tribe diyan sa Abu Dhabi magandang araw po sa inyo and of course we have here ah Marisa is from Tripoli Libya wow hello to all the Filipinos watching us right now in Libya and we have uh, The shout out galing kay Richard Saldungan watching from uh, Polomolok in uh, General Santos. Uh, magandang araw sa iyo. And shout out daw sa Divine Tribe Batangas, uh, Eagles Tribe, Alpha Tribe, and to all the tribes watching us. Magandang magandang araw po sa inyo. We have Myra watching from Cavite. Uh, sino ba itong nasa Hong Kong? Palagay po ng pangalan nyo para mabasa ko po yung name nyo no? doon sa chat ninyo. We have uh, Parisha watching. All right, from the Cordillera. Hello po dyan sa Northern Luzon. Uh, shout out daw, galing kay Farisha. Tudlong uh, watching uh, dyan po sa Norte. Uh, hi daw sa Victory Highlanders and Victory Glow uh, tribes dyan po sa Northern Luzon. And we have a uh, gold evening, galing naman kay Maribel Bacalia watching from Antipolo City. Okay, and Antonio Camikas watching from Sarangani Province. Okay, and uh, sino pa po yung mga nandito? Uh, Nako, dami niya ng mabati. Hindi ko na mahapol. Shout out to the Rice and Prestigious uh, Tribe uh, and sa mga inimbita ni... Sino ba ito? Uh, dami na, no? Okay. Uh, ayan, may invites from Dubai, Wilma Garay, Garan, Gairanan, uh, Shira, Shirail, Tobise, uh, watching from Qatar, and Mamrika Sharp, who is watching right now from the United Kingdom, dyan po sa Europe. Hello po sa lahat ng nanonood sa atin mula sa Europa po. Magandang magandang araw po sa inyo. And we have uh, uh, Rachel uh, Abil Abilrila. Shout out naman sa lahat ng Rice and Tribe. She is watching right now from Hong Kong. Magandang araw po sa lahat ng mga kapwa Pilipino natin na nasa Hong Kong ngayon. And also, we have the shout out from Glo uh, Sonia Aliado watching from Carino Province. Magandang araw po sa inyo. And we have uh, Cell. Celia watching uh, uh, all the way from Japan. Hello po sa inyo. Moshi Moshi. Arigato. And hi daw sa lahat ng VG Success Tribe. Magandang araw po sa lahat ng mga kapwa Pilipino natin watching from Japan. All right. So naku, hindi ko na kayo mababati lahat. Naku, medyo natambakan na rin ako ng mga greetings dito sa uh, sa FB Live natin. Uh, kung babasahin ko pa lahat, aabutin tayo ng sham sham. Anyway, you know who you are. Uh, I would like to greet everybody an amazing, abundant, and prosperous day to all of you. At uh, magandang magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. So again, let's uh, get it on with our, uh, with our show for today. So again, let me just uh, recap. Ang topic po natin today, we have a special guest speaker. Actually, itong mapapakinggan nyo is actually already a student of Sir John Calo. We actually met uh, years back no, in Cebu. And if you talk about masterminding, ito ang ka-mastermind ko uh, way, way back. Uh, whenever I'm in Cebu, this uh, very, very kind uh, and very, uh, tawag dito, uh, hospitable uh, lady would pick me up, uh, you know, uh, in Cebu and uh, she'll take me around. She'll assist me uh, together with our students there in Cebu. Kaya napakalaking tulong po sa akin tong tao na to. At marami po kaming na-bless dyan sa Cebu. And now, eventually, she uh, migrated to the United States of America. And uh, passion niya talaga ito, no? Itong, uh, kasi ever since when we meet in Cebu, we'll always talk about the power of the law of attraction, which for most of you, since you are students already of John Kalub, alam niyo naman, this is the uh, one of the most powerful laws of the universe. So hindi na po ako magtatagal. I'm sure uh, hindi naman ako ang pinuntan niyo ngayong araw na to dito sa show na to. Uh, I'm sure you are excited to listen to her. So let me now uh, read to you her credentials and put her... Uh, on air para mas makilala nyo po ang ating uh, guest speaker for today. Ayan. So, pag tinawag ko siya mamaya, I want you to really clap. Kahit hindi po namin kayo nakikita, ay nararamdaman namin ang energy ninyo kung nasan man kayo all over the world. Alright, so our speaker for today all right, is actually a writer of contemporary romance, romantic comedy suite, and clean uh, feel-good romance. She is originally from Cebu, as I mentioned earlier, Philippines, and uh, she migrated to the United States five years ago. 
She is a physical therapist by uh, uh, by day and a writer, blogger, freelance writer, podcaster, and even a YouTuber. All right, the rest of the day. Yan. And actually, and dami na siyang nasulat na libro, no? Uh, if I recall correctly, uh, anim na po and counting, padagdag pa ng padagdag. And she's really, uh, you know, making a name in the publishing industry. Etong book niya, Dreams to Reality, is a step by step. All right, a personal development book for turning your goals into reality. Yan po yung kanyang uh, uh, part of what she's going to discuss today. So mga, sa mga nanonood sa atin, meron ba ditong gustong matupad yung mga pangarap nila na hindi pa nangyayari? Like maybe is there somebody here who would like to uh, you know maybe uh, get his her dream house, dream car, uh, your forever ninyo or whatever it is, no? I-type nyo nga diyan ano yung mga pangarap nyo na gusto nyo magkatotoo sa realidad or gusto nyo maging uh, to what you want to make manifest in the real world. Sige nga, I want to hear from you. Tingnan natin. Uh, because, you know, pag nagta-type tayo, nagiging interactive. Eh. Hindi lang uh, one-sided yung show natin. Ayan, sabi ni Sharos, gusto daw niya magkaroon ng mga resorts. Wow! Sino ba namang hindi gusto magkaroon ng sariling beach resorts? Di po ba? Hindi lang resort, ah, resorts. <laughs> si Mila naman, sabi niya, uh, priority niya is to pay off all of her debts. Ayan. Okay. Uh, CJ naman, ang sabi niya dito, a mansion. All right. I want to have my own dream house. Ayan. Ako. Sige nga, type nyo lang dyan. Ano yung mga pangarap nyo para, you know, mag-init naman yung damdamin natin. Kasi mamaya, okay, what she's going to share with you is she's going to help you uncover bakit may pangarap yung ibang tao pero hindi nangyayari. Di ba? Parang, uh, Minsan, sapatos na kukuha natin agad eh. Or siguro, uh, like bag, di ba, na mumurahin. Pero when it comes to the highest goals and aspirations natin, bakit sometimes we ask ourselves, mabait naman tayo, matalino naman tayo, nakagraduate naman tayo, masipag naman tayo, ba't hindi pa rin siya nangyayari? So yan po, bibigyan niya kayo ng idea mamaya. And more importantly, she's actually going to give you uh, some methods, alright, that she already has tested and proven that actually will help you, alright? Ayan po, grabe si Ma Marisa, 1 trillion pesos, pesoses talaga. Uh, ito, meron nag-type, I want to be a philanthropist, I want to be a professional trader, sabi naman ni Mary Joy, house and lot. Okay, uh, wow, sabi naman ni Maria, makasakay ako ng cruise ship. Okay, and si Dennis, mapagaling ang anak ko po. Hindi uh, uh, ko nasasabihin siya, but I think uh, she ha- he has, uh, may tar- tinatarget siyang pambayad sa ospital for... Uh, for the healing all right or uh, you know medical uh, expenses ng kanyang anak ayan so iba-iba tayo ng pangarap no so today we will give uh, light to all of this through the power of manifestation or yung tinatawag na attraction okay so uh, let me uh, read further to you in this uh, episode she's going to discuss four keys no let me just uh, quickly go through this siya na magdedetalye nito no which is going to talk about uh, clarity the importance of clarity number two, what we call clearing no clearing uh, methodologies number three, subconscious uh, programming and number four, yung pinaka importante sa lahat aligned action which is for the most part uh, laging sinasabi the missing piece in attraction kasi maraming tao akala nila pag nag attract ka lang Naglo-law of attraction ka, eh, iniisip mo lang din, nararamdam mo, nangyayari na. No? Remember, the formula of attraction, ang dulo po niyan, there is action involved. And so we're going to uh, uh, talk about that uh, during this uh, you know, training. It's going to uh, give you um, a highlight on that later on. So sabi niya, I believe that in creating the life that we desire, okay, you, you, know, you have to uh, take it one day at a time if it's been living in the present. And she also believes that we can be the director, the scriptwriter, and the main star in our own life. Meaning, uh, ang paniniwala po ng ating uh, guest speaker today, hindi po nakaukit sa, uh, sa, ano, no, sa bato na ito na yung buhay mo. It, kumbaga, you, you are given the greatest power in the world, which is the power of choice. Ibig sabihin ko, ano yung sitwasyon mo ngayon, pwede pa rin niya magbago. Okay, pwede mong baguhin yan because all that is happening to you is actually just a reflection of your inner programming. Okay, so she's going to uh, give you more, ano no, more ideas and more wisdom on all of this. So, hindi na ako magtatagal. I would like to uh, uh, welcome here in Success Community our special guest speaker for today. Kung nasan man kayo, bigyan natin ng malakas na malakas na palakpak 
and a warm Filipino welcome to our uh, guest trainer for today, no other than one of my uh, uh, graduates of the Firewalk Bootcamp, Miss Jeannie Coach. Okay, ito yung tinatawag na okay, uh, international goal-setting coach, Jeannie Hermoso. Welcome to you, uh, Jeannie. Hi, hello po. <laughs> yes, medyo matagal-tagal din tayo, tayo hindi nagkita, no? Opo. <laughs> in years. And uh, I'm glad uh, we kept in touch through uh, FB. And I really uh, admire and congratulate you for all of your success, especially now that you are uh, making a big name for yourself sa mga librong sinulat mo. And uh, I was watching your ano, your uh, YouTube channel from the ones that you sent me then. Uh, I'm glad uh, ikaw na ngayon na nag interview no? <laughs> no? Mga sikat na mga tao dyan sa US who also believes in you know higher consciousness and you know all of these things that you will be sharing all right so uh Jeannie, what i will do is i will uh, put you on the spotlight here in zoom and facebook uh, i will shut off my camera para maka-focus sila ng pakikinig sa and then uh, i enabled your share screen access that so that you can uh, put up a powerpoint if you need to uh, uh, explain something in your powerpoint as you uh, as you uh, give your workshop and then i will be back uh, after 40 minutes uh, then after that we will have a short uh, dinner break and then we will have your uh, your finale all right so uh, take it away okay genie so hi um, my name is genie hermoso um, I'm based here in Houston, Texas. So, uh, Tama Sister John, um, student ako before, actually in 2012, uh, I attended his Money Magnet seminar and it really changed my life because I had a direction I was already familiar with, uh, the law of attraction, pero I didn't have a direction parang how to go about uh, using the law of attraction because I was... Um, doing uh creating goals pero, and manifesting pero it was parang parang trial and error pero when i was with sir john uh what happened was um parang it started to fall into place and uh actually the last thing he told me before i left because i asked him like what's what should i do sabi ko um what's like my next step and sir john said um, he said try to read a lot of books and try to learn everything and yeah and so i just uh, took that advice and in the u.s i just took all classes and lessons and just really stepped up on really understanding how it works so it it boils down to uh, four keys uh, which is uh, clarity, clearing, aligned action, uh, clarity, clearing, subconscious reprogramming, and aligned action. So I'm going to share my um, screen right now um, for my webinar. Let's see. And uh, I have prepared something. Let's see. Okay. So let's share the screen. Dami kong ano. Okay, and here it is. So here's the presentation. So yeah, it's um, coming in good, Jen. So okay, it's coming in good. Okay, yeah, yeah. we're good. We're good. <laughs> okay, so dreams to reality: four keys to living the life of your dreams. So this is me with my dog, which I manifested in. I got him in 2016, but I started uh, visualizing or just set, setting an intention in, in 2014, and he came about two years later. So that's my dog, Bacon. So there. So more about me, as Sir John said, I'm an author of six books. Uh, I have a YouTube page, um, and I also podcast. And I live in Houston, Texas, and also manifested see Jason Momoa, uh, Oprah, I saw Obama, ganyan. <laughs> um, I'm a licensed physical therapist by day, and um, during the weekends, um, I, I join classes, ganyan. So I'm certified in energy healing, psyche, hypnosis, and access consciousness. So those are just the tools that I use. So as I mentioned, what are the four keys? 
So um, Sir John, when Sir John told me to learn and to just study and to read books, um, I realized that there's really um, in law of attraction or manifesting the life of your dreams, there's four keys that are really important that if you don't get them right, sometimes you will have mixed results, which is what happened to me over the years. Parang I didn't have like a formula uh, for success. Uh, and I realized that these are the four keys, um, clarity, clearing, subconscious reprogramming, and aligned action. Because without these four keys, it's like, uh, when you're making chicken adobo or something, di ba kailangan, there's meat, there's vinegar, there's soy sauce, there's salt, parang ganyan. So without the uh, proper ingredients, parang yung adobo mo is going to be off. So it's just um, the way I can relate na the four keys. Na without these uh, four keys, parang kulang yung um, recipe. So these are the four recipes that I discovered. Okay, so the four keys. Um, so clarity is like the seed. So it's it's something that I discovered na kailangan pala na you have to determine first what seed you are planting. And knowing that each seed, each goal that you have takes time. Kasi in my case, um, I was clear about things and then it would manifest in my reality and some things that I'm not clear on. Parang it's, it takes a while, it takes longer. So knowing what you want in life is really key. And I think this is the most important step. You really have to know what you want. And I think someone mentioned mansion, someone mentioned uh, paying off all the debts. So that's good. You already know you're clear on what you want. And I'll teach later the process, how you can be clear. Because uh, my process is based on, you know, Sir John's and he, a lot. Um, I was in a talk with uh, Jack Canfield, ganyan. So mga, mga mentors na just really honed in on uh, clarity. So clearing. So these are... Actually, uh, the moment we are clear, sometimes if we're very clear, it will manifest uh, right away. But sometimes we have um, what we call that, parang barado yung pipes, um, yung pipes are not clean. So, so sometimes we have to remove. So it's like the, the weeds, if we plant a, a seed on the ground, Parang may ano, sometimes there's weeds that grow. So the, these are negativities, uh, resistance, um, yung mga doubts, yung mga negative emotions, yung like lack of self-belief, lack of confidence. We have to clear that as well because it will get in the way. So it's, I, I, I compare it to weeds. Now removing the weeds or pruning so there's many different techniques. Actually, there's dozens, if not hundreds. And I'll show it to you later. Uh, just one of the simple ones you can use. But uh, once you're clear about what you want, you can clear um, your subconscious mind. So the subconscious mind is, um, I compare it to the soil because our subconscious mind is really like a soil. Now, whatever seed you plant in it, it will grow. Uh, same with the weeds, yung mga negativity, if you plant it uh, sa soil, it will grow. So subconscious mind, um, you have to reprogram it. Kasi uh, if you're not successful now, it means that you have programs, yung, uh, as Sir John mentioned, you, he mentioned like yung uh, programs that are not in alignment with what you really want. So subconscious mind is like the soil and you can reprogram it through hypnosis, self-hypnosis, vision boards, affirmations, and I'll talk about it later. Um, you know, I think a lot of people here, they're already using my vision boards, ganyan, visualization. So I'll teach later as well, you mga simple techniques. So this is the fourth, um, the fourth key is actually very overlooked siya. This is overlooked. Kasi sometimes we visualize, but we don't take action. And sometimes we take action, 
Pero it's not aligned action. It's not coming from, you know, our goals. Kasi parang we just take any any action. Like uh, people, let's say, na they're in debt. Um, ano pa rin? Parang utang pa rin ng utang. So you don't consider that aligned action if your goal is to be debt free. So you need to change your behavior. So I'll talk about that later. So important with aligned action is have to have uh, you have to have an accountability group and a group such as uh, Sir John's um, success training programs. Uh, you also have to have a mastermind group. So ganyan. So here. So clarity. Um, this is if we can spend like maybe a lot of time uh, on our goals. This would be the first step, talaga. Because once you're clear, everything else, the other three, um, the other three keys will just fall into place. So I realized, because before I was manifesting on and off, parang hindi siya consistent. It was because I wasn't really clear about what I wanted. Sometimes I I knew what I wanted, pero parang kulang pa rin. Um, I didn't really define it um, as well. So you really need clarity. This is the most important step talaga uh, for manifestation and for turning your dreams into reality. Kasi I was there before um, just talking about my experience. Um, before when I started in the U.S., talagang ano, baba lang ng, um, baba lang ng ano, sweldo ko. And then I, from that, parang I was clear na, you know what, I want double, I want na mag-increase pa yung salary ko, ganyan. And I really, because I was very clear on what I wanted, so parang my, I was guided. So uh, the thing to achieve clarity is you really have to be honest where you are right now. Because I don't know if you guys use Google or you use a map. But you really need to use your current location and your destination. So the yung input uh, with the GPS, it's always where are you located right now and where are you going? So if you don't know where you are right now, you're not going to know where you're going to be. So be honest right now. So to those that yung, ano nila, yung bank account is low, you have to be um, clear na, where are you right now? You have to be honest na, parang, you know what, parang negative ako this, this week. Um, honesty is really key. Kasi part of clarity yan. To go to where you want to go, you have to know where you are. So goal setting is like setting your GPS. So if you go to Google Maps, it's always going to ask you, um, where are you? Where's your location right now? Because you won't know how far you're going to travel if you don't know kung saan ka ngayon. So if you can, uh, if you have a pen and paper, lagyan mo yung um, where you are right now, the aspects of your life, like in relationships, sa money, um, health mo, ganyan. Uh, all the aspects of your life, and even the career. So see, uh, so I mentioned uh, what you don't want versus what you want. So two people na parang they're not clear yet um, what they want. The best way, this is, um, I got this from a book, which is like for me, um, I always use this technique to achieve clarity, which is, what is it that you don't want? Like, let's say, uh, ngayon, uh, someone mentioned utang. So that's what you don't want. So what is the opposite of that is what you want. So to gain clarity about and to, to goal set, um, to, especially to those people na hindi pa sila, they, they're not clear, you have to look at your status quo ngayon. So ngayon, let's say, utang, utang pa, ganyan. Um, so that's what you don't want. So really just shift your focus now on what you really want, which is magkano ba talaga na, is it enough na you get out of debt or gusto mo na you have extra at the end of the month, ganyan. So that's how you achieve clarity. And let's say um, sa relationships, let's say ngayon, um, let's say nag-aaway kayo palagi. So that's 
what you don't want. So therefore, yung what you really want talaga is ano, harmonious yung relationship. And also, let's say you have a weight goal, ganyan. Um, let's say you weigh ano, 200 pounds or something and you really want to lose the weight. So okay, you don't want weight gain, you don't want to weigh 200 pounds. So the opposite of that talaga is what you really need to focus on is you want um, to be your ideal weight. Ganyan. Okay. So the way to achieve clarity is, you know, you have to write down the qualities of your goal. So if you have an index card, and I use this, Bob Proctor uses this, and I'm sure Sir John uses this, and um, he taught this as well in his seminar. Uh, so you get an index card, and once you are sure about what you want based on what you don't want, you can write down the details of your goal. So let's say you want a new car. And I used this before because when I started in America, wala akong credit. So which what that means is hindi ka pwede maka, maka utang or you can't even um, get a car because you don't exist in their system. So it was very hard for me because I had to build up the credit para I can get the car. But it was really impossible. But yung ginawa ko, I put my um, in an index card. Yung qualities of the car that I want, I wanted, which was gusto ko at least uh, the, these colors, blue, black, or something ganyan. And I wrote down na gusto ko brand new, gusto ko reliable, gusto ko within this price range. And it was really at that time impossible, kasi parang ano. Um, I didn't have the credit at saka parang I needed it right away pero things just fell into place na someone became my guarantor pero yun talaga uh, in the morning uh, I wrote down my goal on an index card and I just kept looking at it visualizing lang talaga and I added um, other aspects which is important as well uh, when you want to be clear so let's say your goal is um Yung, let's go back to utang utang. Um, so visualize talaga with the end picture. What are you doing? So let's say um, you're utang free or debt free. So you look maybe you look in your bank account and how does it feel? Um, na wala ka ng utang. So relief. And what is really the purpose? Uh, you have to write it down too. What is it that? Um, your reason na gusto mo na wala ka ng utang or what is your why and why you do why do you want it and someone mentioned yung mansion so okay visualize talaga uh, the qualities uh, of the the house let's say what color do you want yung house mo where is the general location wag ka na lang too specific with the general location because it could be anywhere um, you can just say, kung gusto mo sa Philippines, Philippines, ganyan. Um, but not exactly like, dito talaga, ganyan. <laughs> or if you're really clear na you have land, you can, you know, you can be clear na, okay, I want to build a house, a mansion in this plot of land, ganyan. And write down, ano, qualities of the house. Um, let's say you can put a range like um, maybe gusto mo, 2,000 square feet, ganyan, two floors, um, yung price range, um, and then visualize what are you doing? Are you looking at the finished house? Are you inside the house? Write it down, uh, I'm in my house, um, and also write down the emotion. What do you want to feel when you have already achieved your goal? And what is your purpose talaga? Kasi some people, your purpose nila is, I want to have a mansion kasi... No, wala lang, ganyan. So if you are also not clear on your purpose, um, parang mahirap din, you will encounter resistance. Kasi you don't know why you want that house. Is it just, ano lang, just to boast to your other friends, ganyan, na you have a big house? Or is it really, gusto mo lang talaga ng spaciousness? Uh, gusto mo na, I really want a beautiful house because I like beautiful things. So determine then. So this is part of clarity, knowing your why. Why do you want it? What is your purpose? Let's say na gusto mo yung malaking bahay. Is it because you want 
um, you know, space? Is it because you want na ganyan? Um, you appreciate beautiful things and you just really want to feel good. So um, we'll do that later um, as an exercise. We'll really get a piece of paper at saka we'll do these activities talaga so you can be clear. Just choose one goal right now that you want to work on and we can work on it on the second half mamaya. Okay. So we're going to go to the next slide is this is part of clarity too, and this is what is missing then um, in some of the law of attraction um, uh, concepts or mga ano, techniques, which is they're not clear on the version 2.0 of themselves. So what that means is not only should you be clear on your goal, you have to be clear on what kind of person you want to be. This is really important then because self-image actually determines a lot. It can determine what you want to be and it can determine uh, how much of your goal you can achieve. So you can also write down the qualities and traits of the version 2.0 version of you who already has accomplished all of your goals. So how do you speak? How do you talk? How do you dress? How do you act? So how does a person uh, debt free um, act and speak and talk? Because if we have a lot of debt, parang, ano, parang we are like we lack energy siguro at saka sometimes wala na yung may um, ano na, there's holes na sa, sa ano, sometimes kilikili or something yung mga um, um, t-shirt, ganyan, may holes na. So if you really want to be debt free, you start with your being clear on your self-image then the version 2.0 of you na wala nang ano, utang. So, okay, uh, maybe you can wear a nice nice clothes or parang ganyan uh, every day or maybe when you go out parang one of your best clothes or maybe instead before hindi ka nag you don't iron your clothes walang it's parang gusok, gusok siya or something it's not i know uh, maybe you can start wearing something na ano uh, looks good on you makes you feel good ganyan because um this is really important and i'll talk about it later yung self-image um, we're not just after being clear on the goals. So let's say someone mentioned mansion. So what is the version 2.0 of you now already has the mansion. So how would that person speak? How would that person talk, dress and act? Ano ba yung posture ng person na, ano, na owns a mansion? And I really do this every day and I remind myself, okay, I'm a best-selling author. So I try to your posture ko, I adjust it and I'm like chin up ganyan. So does someone who wants to own a mansion or does someone who already has a mansion, do they have like a bad posture na parang droopy yung posture or parang sad yung face, diba? I think usually, diba, chin up, yung, yung, even yung posture mo, you really have to practice on this. And uh, we're gonna, it's part of aligned action as well. The, the four keys will just work hand in hand. So, but if you can really focus not on one thing as well, na parang it's really important. It's the version 2.0 of yourself because this will determine talaga whether you accomplish your goals or not. And I think Sir John uh, mentioned in one of his um, um, classes that I attended, he said like he, he was broke at that time, but he wanted to go to Boracay. So what he did was um, he was drinking coconut and uh, parang he was pretending that he was already in, I know he was already in Boracay and he was sipping the coconut. Parang ganyan. So that was uh, the version 2.0 of Sir John. And I'm sure Sir John said he was entry level long. He was receptionist. I'm, I'm sure receptionist before yung wala lang, parang yung, yung attire is parang ano talaga kasi he said entry level. Um, so parang wala, parang walang confidence, ganyan. So but um, as you all know, Sir so John, he already worked on his self-image. So because he already knows that the version 2.0 was ano, someone who's successful, someone na ano, he, he likes to wear his 
I don't know if he still does it right now, pero yung golden shoes niya, and he likes to wear yung, yung vest, ganyan. So if you can work on the version 2.0 of yourself, ganyan, um, really work on this. Write it down. What, what are the qualities? So let's say you want to be debt-free. So someone who is debt-free uh, manages their money. So um, how would that person act? Diba? So if you're already in debt, what can a mag utang or something like that? Um, and you have to uh, plan ahead and you have to really manage your money. And so therefore your actions more um, should also align. Ganyan. Okay. So clearing. So clearing, dami talagang clearing. Um, and I'm sure if you're a student of Sir John, you guys have used EFT na, ho'oponopono, mga ganyan. There's a ton of clearing methods. Kasi, uh, as I mentioned, yung seeds, before, uh, yung seeds before, once you plant in the soil, sometimes may mga weeds din that will grow. So important na you clear them. Kasi uh, to someone who's in that right now, parang, you know, nakakabahan ka na, parang, parang, you know, like, paano ba, how can I cope, ganyan, or to someone who lives in a small house, how can you uh, clear yourself of parang self-doubt na parang, parang malabo yata na I will get this goal kasi ano, <laughs> kasi I live in a small home, bakit mansion, parang it's out of my league, parang ganyan. So you can actually use a lot of clearing methods. So, Sa akin talaga, my first go-to is meditation talaga. Every morning, I really meditate. And when emotions come up, um, I use combination of breathing. So let's say, kinakabahan ka ngayon. So drop into your body. Uh, feel where the nervousness or the doubt, kanyan, the negativity is in your body. And we'll do it later as well. Um, this is just a simple technique. So just breathe in and breathe out, breathe in and breathe out, and just settle into your body, feel where that emotion. And sometimes that's enough na mawawala na. And it's also enough na you know na you always experience on a day-to-day -day basis negativity. It's normal kasi di ba, um, we're, we're used to it na kasi, um, di ba, you have goals at saka parang, Ano yung daily life mo? You have doubts talaga na, will I accomplish that goal? So once you have that, you can start, ano, you can start clearing yung mga doubts when it comes into your, ano, awareness. Um, so emotion, emotion code, um, this one, ano siya, it's a, it, it's a technique na nasa YouTube, ganyan, you can, you can watch it later. Yung Sedona method, if you're, um, a fire walker, we used it. Basically, it is when you have doubts, you just think about like, can you let it go? Can you let that negativity go? Is it okay to let it go? Parang ganyan. So it's allowing ganyan. And then I also do energy clearing, yung mga chakra clearing. If you don't believe in mga chakra chakra, it's okay. You can do the breathing. Um, as for me, when I started, um, I didn't believe in mga chakra chakra, but um, as you all well know, na, naging ano ako, pranic healer, kasi parang I realized, parang this thing works, parang ganyan. So, also, tapping, um, I, if you are into, um, you are a student of Sir John, he uses yung EFT, yung, ano, you clear yung mga meridian points, ganyan. So, let's say, um, you're doubting na, ano, right now your goal is na mag-increase yung salary mo. So you do tapping na, even if I feel, ano, doubt, it's okay. Parang ganyan, you tap yung pressure points. And we'll go into this later as well kasi it's, um, it's a process as well. So there's really a ton of clearing tools. And there's Be Set Free Fast. Nasa ano din yan sa YouTube. You can research it. Uh, it's basically telling your subconscious mind na uh, subconscious mind when I use this keyword, can you can you clear and heal the 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 issue yung doubt ko or something, and then once you use that keyword, it will clear all the things. So ganyan. 
And also another thing that I use with um, myself is, I know to people na gusto ng ano, clearing tool talaga, is visualization. So I really visualize na ano, let's say I'm feeling overwhelmed. So I project my doubts uh, in front of a white screen and ganyan parang I grade it from zero to 100 and then I just watch it go down. Parang I just visualize na, okay, it's going down, the feeling it's going down and I notice in my body as well. Daming clearing tools talaga and you can also use affirmations to clear na I'm okay, I'm doubt, parang ganyan, um, I'll be okay. You can also do that. That's part of clearing as well. Daming, daming tools, uh, hundreds of tools that you can use to clear yourself. And this is important because you will encounter resistance talaga uh, when you start um, visualizing for the goal, when you're clear na this is really what I want. Okay, let's go on. to. So this one is the meat. Um, this is part kasi third key is subconscious reprogramming. So this is really the meat of it kasi what is the subconscious mind? Um, Sir John told me na there's beginners here, na people talaga na ano, um, ano talaga, they, they're just starting out with the self-help, uh, at saka yung ano, just getting to know yung law of attraction, ganyan. So actually, law of attraction talaga, it, um, it is about oneness, meaning whatever emotions and um, beliefs you have, it will project outside. So let's say you have um, a belief that you're not worthy. So because you have that belief, parang it will project outside externally. Parang it will affect everybody around you. Um, so I know. So if you have a feeling that you're not worthy of your goals, kenyan. So parang it will manifest in failure as well. Uh, and this is really important understanding the subconscious mind because this is the meat and bones. Na once you have clarity, once you we, you clear your negativity, this one is the most important thing. Na parang maano talaga, you will really reach your goal. But um, we have to have like a uh, what you call introduction muna on what is the subconscious mind because this is really important. So the subconscious mind is Ano, it's part of our awareness na ano, it's not actually, uh, it's part of our mind na parang below our conscious awareness. So meaning we are not aware that it's already taking place. So it controls everything. It controls our breathing, our subconscious mind natin, because we're not conscious that we're breathing. It controls our blood pressure. It controls um you know, everything around us, yung, yung circulatory system natin, it, it is so powerful, yung subconscious mind. We are not aware na so many things are happening without our awareness. Like, you don't notice na you're breathing, di ba? Unless, you know, you really focus on it. Um, and, ano siya? It's, it is anything that has to do with your body and your actions talaga because it's automatic and it has a fight or flight response so it's either you're parang okay let's fight or ganyan or like let's run away so yung mga tao sometimes they have big goals and sometimes ano sila parang what is this parang either let's fight or let's run away parang procrastination is a flight response diba you're not doing anything and um, the subconscious mind is automatic. So what that means is whatever you ananya programs that you encode sa subconscious mind mo, it will run automatically. So let's say um, driving. So if you sa mga drivers dito, at first diba driving is conscious. You're aware na parang eto yung clutch, eto yung brake, eto yung ganyan. Um, turn signal, ito yung wheel, manubela, ganyan, or this is how to turn left and right. So at first it is conscious, but eventually through repetition, um, ano siya, it becomes subconscious na and it runs automatically. So parang that concept is really important to understand the subconscious mind and how it works. Kasi sometimes um, 
me, I travel a lot. I travel thousands of miles now from east to west, um, north to south, and yeah. And sometimes I'm like wondering, uh, how did I get here? I'm like just, uh, parang automatic na siya na I don't even notice na I'm driving the car, which is kind of weird, diba? So that's how powerful your subconscious mind is. And it is, as you can see in the graph below, yung conscious mind mo is only the tip of the iceberg. Yung subconscious mind mo, if it really controls everything underneath. Um, and if you mga programs mo is bad, let's say you have programs na I'm a failure, I'm not worthy, I'm not enough. So that will run your entire life. So I think you've noticed may mga tao na parang relationship after relationship to those that, that have relationship issues. Um, you know, whatever relationship they go into, parang ano siya, it's a failure. Kasi yung subconscious mind nila has a program na uh, I'm bad at relationships, I can never hold on to people, or I, I don't love myself, no one loves me, ganyan. So, siya yung nagaran. So, even if consciously you're like, I'm loving, and I deserve, I'm worthy, ganyan. I, even if you're conscious, it, if you can see the graph, subconscious mind is bigger talaga than the conscious mind. So, it, how can you control, diba, if the subconscious mind is is 90% of the chunk that's controlling your behavior and it's automatic pa, di ba? So it's really hard. So uh, another thing you need to know about the subconscious mind is that it thinks with the five senses. It's more visual and it really is a goal setting machine. Oh, so whatever you put in it, let's say uh, I'm a failure, parang it will really, I know, it will really act on it. Pero if you put a uh, positive na I'm successful and uh, I'm persistent no matter what, ganyan, you will always achieve that kasi um, the subconscious mind just parang automatically whatever you program in it. So it's more programmable when you're sleeping and I'll show a technique mamaya na which is what I use uh, under hypnotic uh, hypnotic trance like state uh, so when you go into hypnosis meditative state and a relaxed state so you can program yourself um, when you're sleeping and when you're just getting into when you're just getting into sleep um, under hypnosis so I'm a certified hypnotist I do this uh, it really helps talaga. and also meditative state so when you're meditating as well you can also um what you call that you can also program your mind or uh, your subconscious mind and the thing about the subconscious mind is it works through repetition talaga. so that's why um we'll mention later visualization is really important so you saturate your subconscious mind or you have to repeat 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 talaga. And the subconscious mind responds to emotions and feelings. Ano talaga, it really is like, how do you feel parang ganyan? Okay, so now we're on to the third key, which is subconscious reprogramming. So what are the ways that you can uh, reprogram your subconscious mind? So as I mentioned, subconscious mind uh, likes repetition. It works on the five senses, so uh, hearing, sound, taste, ganyan, uh, vision, and it works with emotions, feelings, more visual than auditory, and likes the end image or end result. So your subconscious mind pala natin, um, it's a goal setting machine. And it will, if you program it enough, enough, of, enough times, or if nakapasok talaga yung program, it likes to just focus on the end image or end result. So what does that mean? Um, let's say your goal mo is, uh, someone mentioned debt, debt, so debt free. So let's say yung end image that you need to focus right now, if you're really clear na gusto mo talaga maging debt free, is maybe you can look at your final payment and you just keep on visualizing that this is my final payment, final payment, final payment, ganyan. And how does it feel? 
So these are the other ways that you can subconsciously reprogram your mind. Uh, I do hypnosis, as I mentioned, psyche, I also do that. Yung mga binaural beats, um, that's in YouTube. You can find that, that's free. Just make sure na, na it's like uh, sounds na parang you can hear on the headphones na will tell you na you're successful, you're ganyan. I don't personally use it. Uh, I've used it before, pero kasi because ano parang it just it wasn't hiyang for me and again this is key as well dapat hiyang talaga sa yo yung ano yung techniques na ginagamit mo and affirmations i know um, a member of sir john's uh, one of sir john's students gusto talaga yung affirmations so affirmations do work it does uh, it just depends on how you use them visualizations i do this and it's part of talaga subconscious reprogramming talaga dream board or vision boarding yung ganyan um that really works and just to mention um before i left for the us um i know i put a dream board na i'm gonna spend for some reason i don't know why gusto ko i want to spend a week in it with oprah anyways i put oprah there and then ako yung picture ko and i just looked at that vision board for mga maybe less than two years and when i went to america gabi um i really um it was so weird talagang oprah pala i didn't know that oprah has um weekend seminars so i was able to have my weekend with oprah and also visualize then uh, i'm gonna be able to see obama ganyan so it happened in 2015. I was just walking with a co-worker at saka Obama just passed by talaga na parang he was so close na parang I could almost touch him. Of course, I didn't, pero that's really, I know how powerful our subconscious mind works. And journaling, journaling, I personally use journaling and I use mental bank ledger. Um, I know someone and I'll be interviewing her in two weeks. Um, she does the mental bank ledger. Uh, this is used to subconsciously reprogram your mind. And I think this was used mga 80s pa by people na ano, yung mga Amway here in America na Amway is very successful. They use the mental bank ledger. Uh, tape loops, um, you can reprogram your subconscious mind through using tape loops. Um, meaning yung tape loops is, let's say, uh, I'm that, um, we're not going to focus on that. So I, I have a, I have a surplus of money or I'm enough, I'm worthy. So it a tape loop mo yan, you're going to record your voice and then you're going to sleep with the, the loop. I, I have this as well. I use it because it's very effortless once you have that, the tape loop and, if you're interested, uh, I also know someone who will do this for you. Um, medyo he charges a fee lang, pero he will create a loop for you and then you just listen while you're sleeping. Diba kasi sleeping is one of the states na you can um, subconscious, uh, reprogram your subconscious mind. And then there's mind movies. Mind movies, yung parang yung goal mo, let's say, uh, you stitch it together and then you watch it on your phone. You how many times you want to watch it? Uh, I know. And then you make a movie of your your life and the version 2.0 version of you. And then there's mantras as well. You ma uh, money mantras, ang dami dami. So there's a lot of techniques talaga. So what really, um, if you there's a takeaway from the four keys, it's I know there's many techniques, but um, dozens hundreds of techniques it's finding the one that kiyang sayo um it's uh it has to be in a way trial and error on your part because you have to try out these things and what really works for you and also the techniques don't really matter as much as you know you keys talaga which is the principles behind why are you using these techniques because um I've been a student of Sir John and I've been using like dami kong techniques kiname pero pero wala siyang ano wala siyang purpose why am I doing them ganyan so I didn't know pero when you know na ah I'm doing this because I want to reprogram my subconscious mind I'm using journaling to sub, to reprogram my subconscious mind so then it clicks and it makes sense okay 
in here. Aligned action. So this is how many people fail. Kasi they visualize, they clear, they daming lang affirmations, daming ano, actions na ginagawa, pero hindi siya aligned. Uh, as uh, you all well know, I mentioned in the first part of the slide, na clarity talaga, it's really important. You really have to be clear on what you want. Kasi otherwise, yung actions mo, it's going to be haphazard. So, dapat ano, aligned action. So, aligned action means taking action based on being clear on what you want, already embodying the person you want to be, taking action on a daily basis. So, I'm really, really good with this. If there's a takeaway from this webinar, you really have to take action on a daily basis. Kasi in my case, and people are saying na dami nilang ano, uh, ano, uh, let's say, uh, self-limiting belief na I can't do what I want kasi I have a full-time job. So mind you, uh, I work full-time and yet I am still able to write my books. And yet I'm still able to do podcasting. People that I know here, parang they're surprised na how can you do these things na you travel, you have fun. Uh, at the same time, you've written six books. I wrote six books in less than two years with with uh ano, with a full-time job pa ha? and then with traveling pa because for two years i was traveling all over the us so i'm like how did i do that it's because i was clear i was clear now i really wanted to be an author i really wanted to be uh no um a best-selling author ganyan so i write talaga uh with discipline um, at night after after work, so I write and I, I actually schedule my, my time as well. I because you know you won't be happy if ano lang write 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 lang. So I schedule time for ano you know uh, relationships. I uh, I schedule time for ano self self care kenyan. I schedule time for mga chores. So it really becomes more more ano tawag doon it becomes more doable if you really are clear on what you want so and speaking about aligned action as well you ano someone mentioned utang utang so if you already have utang and uh, or debts uh, part of aligned action is wag ka nang mag-utang or something like that and you have to change your behavior dapat aligned action talaga um because people Ano, dami nilang dreams like, oh, I want to be a millionaire, I want to be a millionaire. Pero are you taking aligned action or action based on your goal? So if you want to be a millionaire, kailangan ano, uh, you have to read the books about how millionaires, the millionaire's mind works. Uh, if you want to have a mansion, parang how do you do that? Um, dapat ano, you have to maybe do negosyo or something, you know? So the action really is based on you, um, but it has to be aligned on your ano, destination. So plan out your week. So uh, no mga steps that I use, that take action daily and take five actions every day that is related to your goal. Let's say your goal is, I know, to those who are single. So let's say, I know, your goal clear ka na talaga na this is what I want, ito yung type of lalaki or girl that I want. So you have to take action, um, you know, um, you have to go out on dates, maybe if there's a dating app or ano, if you know friends, na, hey, ano, sino ba yung kilala mo? You have to take action kasi daming single before and I can relate, I was single for many years before. Parang I thought na, oh, the right guy will just you know, drop from the sky because <laughs> I'm already praying to God. No, you have to take action. So in my case, I know I took aligned action. Talagang I went out on dates. Uh, I went out to, ano, dami ko, I subscribed to dating apps, ganyan, ganyan. Talagang I really took aligned action because that, that's really what I want. And then I read books about relationships and then I had relationship coaching then. So dapat yung actions mo has to match with your goal. 
And um, you do clearing as needed. Kasi di ba, yung mga resistance, it's gonna come up. So you can do clearing. Visualize daily. So to those na gusto talaga nila ng mansion, ganyan, visualize your dream home every day. Um, ano, make it fun. Um, ano, hindi siya ritualized because I'm always for, ano, uh, parang it has to be fun, ganyan. Um, so you have to visualize, let's say, when you're in the shower or when you're driving na ganyan or when you just wake up or when you're going to sleep. Parang you have to do it daily talaga kasi that's how the subconscious mind works. So you can do subconscious reprogramming at night. So this is what I do. Um, gusto kasi, kasi ng effortless, di ba? Ano na talaga tayo? Uh, we're digital. <laughs> so I listen to a tape loop at night. And uh, ano, it works on my self-image, yung mga goals ko, ganyan. And then I listen to it at night. And uh, three is have a coach if you can. And um, have a mastermind group. Um, so this is really important, your mastermind group. It could just be another person, you know, um, and you can just meet up every week. Now, hey, where are you uh, in your goals? Are you doing the actions? Ganyan. It's really important. It's part of aligned action and it's part of success. Um, and have an accountability partner to keep you in track. So it could just be your, say, your spouse. It could just be your friend na mag-text sa'yo na, okay, saan na kayo in your goal? Ganyan. And... Okay, so mamaya is frequently asked questions. So I'm going to send this over to Sir John. All right. So I'd like to bring you back in the last uh, ano natin part ng ating show today. Let's all welcome back to talk about the four uh, steps in manifestation. And dito po ang ating guest trainer, Coach Jeannie Hermoso. All right, who is a goal setting coach, international goal setting coach. Uh, coach Jeannie, welcome back. Oh, yeah. Hi. Salamat. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I think uh, everybody's excited to hear about yung uh, susunod na ituturo mo. So I'd like to uh, give you back the stage again. And then after this, guys, ha, wag kayong bibitaw because after this, the good news is we're going to have a uh, 15 minute. Uh, Q&A portion kung saan pwede kayong magtanong kay Coach Jeannie. Ayan. So kung ano man yung mga you know, na, tumatakbo na sa isip nyo, i-reserve nyo na, sulat nyo na ngayon kasi mamaya we're gonna give you a chance to put up your questions and she will address them. Alright? So let's uh, let's all listen to uh, Coach Jeannie. Oh yeah, hi. So thank you Sir John. So I know as you've noticed, um, uh, kasi I, I mentioned before, I have a full-time job, so I'm <laughs> getting ready again for work and stuff. Um, so the thing is, kasi I really believe in taking action one day at a time. Kasi it's overwhelming if, ano, kasi we have big goals. And how do we get to the, those goals? It's by taking action every day. So I'm going to start, um, mag-review tayo ng uh, four keys, which is, uh, clarity, clearing, subconscious reprogramming, and aligned action. As you can see, um, I'm a testament na uh, you can have a full-time job and still have time to go after your dreams. Because people always like say like, oh, I have to quit my job because I know I'm, I want to be a millionaire. Ganyan, ganyan. That's not how it happens. It happens one day at a time, one step at a time. So, um, Right now, um, I really enjoy my job and I'm not quitting anytime soon because I really love my job then. Uh, but I also love what I do, which is writing. Um, but how did I get here? Because before, I was just stuck in in the um, a job I didn't like. At saka, I was also not happy and fulfilled until I discovered the four keys. Na kailangan pala talaga na i-master natin yung uh, clarity, clearing, subconscious reprogramming, and aligned action. And I'm all for making this a lifestyle talaga. These are things I'm teaching. I'm doing them daily. Um, I believe na talaga it should be part of your life. And you will definitely get to your goal kasi it's part of your life na. It's, it's, it's your, your mindset na kasi. It's your, um, it's, your, it's your lifestyle. So make this your lifestyle. So I'm going to share yung ano, I'm going to share the screen 
and here. Okay. So as you can see, okay. So Sir John, do you see my screen? Because um, I don't know if it's... Yes, uh, we're good, we're good. Okay, so uh, remember your four keys is clarity. So um, the way to achieve it is to really be honest, where are you right now? So this will really require honesty in your part. At saka, you have to uh, grade yourself kung saan ka. Let's say your relationship right now, you're an eight, pero yung financial is a zero. So zero is meaning mula talaga or 10 is the highest goal. So let's say yung relationship mo, you scored it an eight. And your financial mo, you score, scored it a 1. Your health mo is okay. Let's say you're healthy right now, so you scored it a 10. Um, your career mo, let's say you love your career, so an 8. So you check, ano ba yung ano? Which should you focus on right now? Talaga. I mean, you can work on other goals, pero if let's say financial is 1 talaga yung score, score mo, 1 over 10. So this is how you are going to build your goals. So let's say your relationship talaga is your zero. Let's say you're single right now. Zero talaga, negative pa. So uh, I've been there before. Um, Sir John has been there before too. So let's say relationship is zero. So um, get a piece of paper at saka ano, i-divide mo into two. So if you have a piece of paper right now, uh, choose ano, ano ba yung uh, focus mo? Is it relationship right now? Is it health, career, or financial? Yan. So let's say ano, single ka ngayon, your relationship is zero, negative pa nga. So let's say on the left side is the things you don't want, which is what's happening right now. Now you don't like to be single, you're not dating, or you're in a relationship that's not ideal. Let's say you ano mo, you boyfriend or the person you're dating, ano siya, it's, it's bad, it's a bad relationship. So therefore the opposite of that, put the opposite of that on the right sheet of the paper which is okay so you're single right now so the opposite of being single is you want to be in a committed relationship so lagay mo sa right side so you're not dating right now found someone through a dating app or through facebook or something or ganyan or um and in a relationship that's not ideal you want to be in an ideal relationship yeah, and so you can do this with your finances as well. So again, get a piece of paper on the left side is where you are right now, what you don't want. And on the right side is the opposite of that. That's how you gain clarity. And if you want to read more, it's in Michael Lozier's uh, book, Law of Attraction. So he, he wrote it in 2001, 2003. He was one of the first few people na ano talaga. He got into the Law of Attraction before the secret pa. So he, this is a technique I really use to gain clarity. So let's say uh, right now, your finance is small, paycheck to paycheck, lagay mo on the left side, paycheck to paycheck, you have debts, you have lack of money, one income source. So therefore, uh, in order to gain more clarity, yung talagang gusto mo, which is has surplus at the end of paycheck, has savings, uh, surplus of money, multi multiple income sources, and then get rid of the left side. If you can, uh, tear down the sheet of paper, uh, tear it, at saka get rid na. Once you have clarity na talaga na, this is really what I want. So if your list is long, uh, kasi sa akin before, um, before I found my ideal relationship, block, ang, ano talaga, I feel like 100, 100, um, ano talaga, mga negatives na I don't want this, I don't want this, I don't want this, I don't want this. So para nagain ko talaga yung clarity na, oh, this is what I want. So yung ginawa ko actually is, yung lahat ng hindi ko gusto sa previous relationships ko, nilagay ko sa left side, which is ayaw ko ng ganyan, ano siya, may habit or something ganyan. Nilagay ko talaga. And therefore, when I focus on the negative, parang I got it out of the way na, na parang, oh, ayaw ko dito, ayaw ko ganyan, ganyan, ayaw ko ng... Um, and yung hype pa, even like, oh, ayaw ko yung, ano, yung um, hindi matangkad, ganyan, gusto ko. So therefore, yung gusto ko talaga is mas matangkad pa sa akin. Uh, ganyan. At uh, saka ayaw ko nang ganito siya, hindi siya affectionate. So yung gusto ko talaga is someone na affectionate. So once you have that list na talaga, and you can take like maybe one day. Uh, sa akin, it was like a week talaga, one day. 
a week or two weeks to getting clarity talaga, clarity talaga to what I really wanted. Um, and after na nagain ko na yung clarity, this is really what I want. I know I I tore the piece of paper, got rid of the left side, na focus na ako. So what I really want, and that's gonna be based sa ano mo sa gold card. So let's say yung gold card mo, uh, you can put an index card, uh, three by five. Yung ginagawa namin, um, Bob Proctor uses this, at saka yung mga other successful Sir John who uses this. I know three by five card. Um, I have one here. So to get, I posted it here. So I look at it when I meditate. For this one, I'll teach you this technique. Na parang I simplified it. Na parang it includes lahat na hat na. Um, kasi um, I have like a goals. Um, so I have this my intention box. So nilagay ko lahat talaga ng gusto ko. Ganyan yun ang goal. Uh, gold card ganyan. Pero parang I can't do this every day na parang ano, parang dami, di ba? It's overwhelming. So I'll teach you uh, I'll teach you a technique na parang ma-simplify mo. Pero first talaga, have that clarity. So let's say yung career mo, let's say uh, if you're in the US or somewhere, uh, yung goal mo talaga is your career. So let's say you don't want um, a, you know, yung bad environment, working environment, stressful, ganyan, ayaw mo. Okay, so you write down the opposite of that, which is what you really want. So based on what you don't want, you gain clarity on what you want. So let's say example career. So you want an enjoyable work environment, focus on what you really want now. Work close to home, at, at the most 40 minute drive, earns at least maybe 7,000 a month, ganyan. Good bosses, good co-workers, good benefits, insurance, ganyan. And then you really focus on that. Um, let's say if you have morning meditation, morning prayer, uh, you focus on your, your goals list. Kanyan. But I'll teach you how to streamline it, mamaya, which is what I use. Kasi gusto natin ng ano, streamline, di ba? So let's say your goal mo is dream house. So you wrote down na talaga na what you don't want is ayaw ko yung bahay na ganito. Ayaw ko na sa location namin. I don't like the location ganyan. So you really got rid of the negative na ayaw mo. So therefore, mag-focus ka na, na oh, this is what I want pala. Gusto ko bahay ko puti. I want big kitchen. Gusto ko three bedrooms. Yeah, 3,000 square foot. Gusto ko yung area, ganyan, ganyan. The more specific you are, um, the better. Pero don't be too specific. It's like, be specific, but don't be too specific. Kasi we have to allow then uh, things to fall into place. Because co-creation then, it's not only you, it's it's the universe. So, sa akin, uh, for example, sa akin, and this is funny, kasi I put a range sa height, kasi ayaw ko talaga na ano, ayaw ko talaga na ano, uh, mas ano pa, my height yung, you know, magiging ka-relationship ko. So, I put a range talaga sa height. So, there's a minimum height and then there's a maximum height. Na I put in ng ano six five din yun. I put noon. So I put a range and it's really funny because yung sa minimum lang, minimum height lang talaga um, with uh, my current relationship right now. So parang ah okay, at least I put a range, de ba? Uh, na this is what's acceptable ganyan, de ba? And okay, so 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 sa mga tao na walang boyfriends or girlfriends. So let's say, ano, uh, you were, ano na before, you were cheated on, or parang hindi siya loyal, hindi ganyan. So ilagay mo, na loyal to me, committed, let's say boring yung ex mo before, so we have fun together, height at least 5'8", ganyan. Parang at least, ganyan, parang to make room then for co-creation. Saka huwag ka nang too specific-specific na kailangan, ano talaga, ano, um, let's say specific na talaga color of the eyes na gusto mo talaga na ano. But if it's that, that is really what you want. Na gusto mo talaga, ah, gusto ko talaga blue eyes, ganyan. If that really means something to you, uh, do it. Uh, write it down. Gusto mo talaga color eyes is blue. Pero, pero, pero that narrows it down. But how about just focusing on the qualities na lang of the person? Let's say, he is loyal, he is kind, he's generous. Focus on the qualities then, not like just the physical, but the other attributes then. 
And um, another way, because we mentioned before now, uh, the goals, kate, that's um, not the only thing you need to work on. It's not the external. Uh, you don't need to work on the ano lang. Uh, you, you know, I want the car, I want the mansion, or I want this and that. You also have to work on being clear on the version 2.0 of you. So, kasi, uh, to those that have iPhones, uh, um, and to those that have mga, di ba, there's always an updated version, di ba, nag upgrade So, kasi you cannot be, or can, you cannot achieve the goals that you want in life if you continue to remain the same person. You have to change. Kasi, um, remember I mentioned law of attraction is what you are inside is projected outside. So, you cannot be, um, like, let's say you want a mansion, pero ano ka, deep inside, you're like, you're not embodying that person that owns that mansion, ganyan. So you really have to think about the person that you have to change into. Kasi it's, it's um, and I will mention it later, kasi we have um, what we call snapback, na parang you are able to manifest, ganyan, daming mong na-manifest, but you still snap back to ground zero. Uh, kasi you're not working on your inner self, yung developing that new version of yourself. So let's say, gusto mo talagang mamilyonaryo, and uh, Sir John mentioned it in his uh, the, the video that he had, I was listening to it, na ano, you cannot be the same person hanging out with the same negative people, uh, hanging out with broke people, or mga people na ano, negative, or ano, they're, they don't have money, ganyan. you have to hang out with, you know, successful people then. So he said, um, kailangan, you know, you have to hang out with millionaires. So if that's what it takes, kung gusto mo talagang, if that really resonates with you, na gusto mo talagang ma ano, maging millionaire, you hang out with, yeah, yung sabi Mr. John, successful people. So the version 2.0 of you, you have to write it down. Who do you want to be? And who do you think is the person that owns that new car, who have, who's in that new relationship? Because let's say uh, right now you're single. Uh, you're doing the same things, Kate, and you're being the same person that you are. You have to change internally. Then. You have to change your self-image. You have to change your, I know, uh, mindset, you have to change your inner dialogue then. So let's say single ka ngayon and um, you're resisting talaga na dating. Uh, remember aligned action, you really have to take action then. So maybe take care of yourself. Maybe you go to the gym, ganyan. So version 2.0 of you, maybe gusto mo discipline ka. Uh, wakes up on time. Let's say you want to be a millionaire. So I know, usually millionaires, uh, they wake up early <laughs> um, based on what I've been reading. And yeah, they really are, are disciplined talaga. Uh, wakes up on time, wears good clothes. Wag nang yung gusot-gusot. Kasi, di ba, uh, you want to be a millionaire, pero I know, may holes yung, ano, yung t-shirt mo. So you have to also change yung uh, version of you. Uh, also, let's say, ano ka, before, parang spontaneous ka lang na parang, let's go here, wala kang discipline. So you have to schedule events, ganyan, or you take care of yourself and you change your posture too. Kasi this one is part of ano, uh, people who are familiar with neuro-linguistic programming. It's how our brain works. Na parang our body, if you change your posture, let's say, um, have you seen yung mga champions? Yung posture nila is parang diba, chin up talaga. So you have to change your posture too. Parang ganyan. You really have to focus on, uh, if there's something you really need to focus on, it's the new version of you. Kasi we don't want that snapback effect. Because I had that before. I was manifesting a lot of things. Pero parang nawala pa rin. Because I wasn't working. I was just working on external stuff na o oh, going to get the pay raise. Ganyan. But I wasn't working on myself. I wasn't working on ano talaga, the version 2.0 of myself. I wasn't walking the walk. I wasn't talking the talk. So this is what they say, walking the walk and talking the talk. 
Kasi if you really want to be successful, uh, you really have to embody talaga the qualities of the person that you want to be. Ganyan. So, kailangan talaga disiplina. So, this is my, ano, this is my technique na, ano, I modified it over the years. So, see, parang I have my goals card talaga in front of me when I meditate. So, assign a keyword to your goal. Let's say, uh, yung sa akin, um, interview, I wanted to be interviewed, so it's done na. So, what I did was, I wrote down na gusto ko ma-interview by this person sa Zoom, gusto ko na ganito, ganito, ganyan, to market myself. So I focused on assigning a keyword to that, which is interview. And then I put it on the goals card. So interview, and then let's say book sales, new house. Um, focus first on the other quality, uh, focus first on the, ano, let's say the house, the bag, dream house, color white, 2,000 square foot. And then just visualize that dream house. Now, let's say you're standing outside of your dream house or you're in your dream house na, drinking coffee, ganyan. And then you you assign a keyword. Let's say your keyword mo is house. If that's too loaded, if it feels na parang, ay, dream house, new house, parang, it feels heavy, you can use maybe sipping coffee, ganyan. And then sipping coffee can be your keyword. When you look in your goals card every day, uh, sipping coffee could be now you're sipping coffee in your new living room. Ganyan. So assign a keyword. The keyword doesn't matter. Um, it has um, you can use any keyword as long as you feel that it is relevant to your goal and it makes you feel good. Because when you say money, because money is very loaded, so don't use money. Because when you say money and then you have a lot of utang, diba? suddenly it's like. Ah, I feel, diba? It's so loaded na parang um, the moment you mention money or you assign money, parang it feels very heavy. So you maybe use, I don't know, um, let's say surplus. Maybe surplus means good. It feels good to you. So surplus. So write down, I know, if you're living paycheck to paycheck, let's say uh, you have a surplus of money. Lagay mo keyword for having surplus of money is surplus. And every day uh, when you're meditating or um, when you're doing your um, daily prayer, you just look at your set of keywords and pull up yung mga, ano, mga end images. Uh, let's say surplus. And then surplus, suddenly you see yourself ano, looking at your bank account. Na parang, oh, I have a surplus of money. I feel good. Ganyan. You could also assign feelings. Let's say Comfort and for you, comfort means na no, you're in a nice bed in your new house, parang ganyan. It really is up to you kung ano yung gagawin mo na ano, what keyword you're assigning. So sa akin dami kung goals kasi, di ba? It's kasi the goals card. It's good. Um, you can review it maybe monthly, pero every day just have that one goals card na like the one I'm using right now. Na it already contains the keywords to your goals. Let's say new house. So lagay mo new house keyword is new house. Let's say your goal is relationship, dates or something ganyan, or um, holding hands ganyan. And then you, so every time you look at your goals card, na ano eh, talagang you uh you parang you pull it up in your mind na parang. Diba? You can think about your goal. Na talaga. I mean, it's in one, one goal. Ganyan. Um, one of the things uh, that's important is clearing. Kasi you notice right now, um, I'm sure like when you mentioned the word money, diba? Parang, oh, heavy. Kasi we have a lot of ano, limiting beliefs kasi with money. So once you feel like heavy when you look at your goals and you pull up your keyword, I know parang it feels heavy, you can start the clearing right away. Anytime um, you feel heavy, you feel uh, parang depressed or down or something, or you feel the main limitation, you can do uh, the clearing techniques. And there's dozens, if not hundreds. Uh, we can go through the more, um, the things that I use and the things that Sir John uses. 
yung mga EFT, emotional freedom technique. So, uh, to the beginners, yung EFT is yung tapping, mga points here. We can do it right now. So, let's say may utang ka and then yung, yung ano mo. Jeannie, uh, may I suggest ano, mag-stop share tayo para makita ka nila how you're gonna do uh, oh. these five techniques. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Stop share. How do you... Yeah. <laughs> okay, stop share for now. Yeah, all right. Okay. Okay, so no, let's say, um, let's do the clearing right now. Let's say we can use EFT, so mga tapping points, ganyan, here, 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 under the nose and chin, and here, and here, and here. So let's say um, you think about your goal, which is surplus of money and something you feel na parang heavy, na parang, oh my God, parang you know, this feels heavy because of course you have utang right now. Um, so you can do clearing. So everywhere that I'm thinking, you can just use a phrase um, na parang hiyang sayo na. Everywhere that I have anxiety about money and about utang, that can I clear it? Then you tap the meridian points here, here, here. Here, under the arm, and then here. And you repeat it as necessary. And this one is on YouTube, uh, Emotional Freedom Technique. Uh, I don't use this anymore. I used to do this a lot before. Uh, but what I do right now is, which is easier, is I just feel into my body. So let's say you have fears and anxiety about money. So where do you feel that in your body? So let's say your chest feels heavy. So just breathe in the so chest area more and just focus on the chest area right now. And then if, if you feel heavy to head more, focus on that head and just, you can say clear, 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 or you breathe in until parang you feel na it's going down. You can also um, score it from zero to 10. Let's say 10 is intense talaga. And then you can, ano, you can feel na, okay, I'm feeling anxious right now. It's a 10. Breathe in, breathe out, focus on that part of your body. Now you feel the resistance, you feel that uh, lack of ease and just focus on the body and then until you feel better or uh, what you can do as well is uh, you can visualize a whiteboard in front of you. Let's say you feel unease about money or you have anxiety about money. So you project that feeling. So whiteboard, let's say from zero to 100, it's a 100 in intensity. So as you're focusing on I know, lowering it from 100 to zero, now you feel nothing, focus on your body then. So remember the whiteboard, you're projecting your emotions onto that whiteboard. Let's say you can use that, uh, um, let's say you feel it in your head. So project it, so white, whiteboard, and then let's say uh, intensity is 100. And just visualize it, no, no, it's going down, it's going down, it's going down, until you feel that it's going down to zero. Um, and or you can also use uh, pranic healing. Now, if you feel that part, you know, energy point more is, let's say it's more on the head or more in the throat, or you can do um, visualize electric violet energy. Um, electric violet is parang violet siya, light violet, pero may ano siya, parang, parang like, yeah, parang electricity ganyan on the rim. Yeah. And then you just focus maybe, uh, let's say in, in the head, you feel it in the head. So uh, do that, electric violet, left side, left side, it's clearing. Or uh, another one that I used to is Be Set Free Fast. Uh, it's also in YouTube, uh, Be Set Free Fast. It's telling your subconscious mind now, uh, anytime I have an issue, so anytime I have an issue, you. Um, when I use the keyword, let's say, you can also assign a keyword. You say clear or delete 
so anytime that I have an issue with regards to money, will you know, my subconscious mind clear, clear this issue and the root cause and the root emotion. So you can uh, actually tell your subconscious mind now, when you say the word clear, it will clear. So same thing, then you grade it from zero to 10 or zero to 100 until it goes down and say, every time I think about money, can I clear, clear the resistance? So there's really a lot. And one of my favorites is the clearing statement from Access Consciousness. I'll go to www.clearingstatement.com or theclearingstatement.com. No, it is using a uh, short speak. So every emotion that I have right now, or, or every unease that I have right now, will I destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good and bad, one and pop, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And then until you feel that you're releasing. So there's another, there's dozens talaga of techniques, and it's really what's young for you. Uh, you just experiment this one, and you can use all the tools that say, um this one is not working you can use another tool it's really good to know a lot of tools and also let's say you have water uh and you're outside and you feel uneasy anxious so what you can do is feel that part of you not far anxious and you can clear uh breathe in and then breathe out and project it into the water and just clear and just say May the water clear this negativity, negative emotion. And then you pour the water outside, you dump it. You don't drink it, okay? You dump it. And then you just project, kasi water kasi is clearing then. So dami talaga. Or you can just use this sweeping motion and you just say, you know, I return it or I get rid of it, I clear it. So it's a lot, a lot talaga of techniques and it's really up to you uh, find the technique that really works for you and you can learn all the tools so just in case now this one doesn't work you can use this this uh, technique okay so i'm gonna share the screen again okay and here we go so see, uh, I mentioned EFT, healing into your body, pranic healing, projecting through the whiteboard. Use the donor method. It's just easy is that you feel into the emotion and like, are you willing to let this go? Is it okay to let this go until you feel better? Okay. So now on to the juicy part, which is really the meat and bones, talaga, which is subconscious reprogramming. Because this one will really really be the driving force talaga of everything because if you are running on programs na talagang, no they're not working for you you really have to um overwrite them and so the way i i use is i use journaling visualization tape loops affirmations and new mental bank ledger uh, i have it in my podcast um and in the next two weeks uh Two weeks from now, I'll interview someone who uses the mental bank ledger and she's going to explain it more. And you can also go to her website. Um, the people from Amway, uh, Amway use this. And they are one of the first few people actually right now. Amway is one of the most successful na -na, multi-level marketing. They started using this in the 80s. And this is my favorite because say, oh, I love, I love doing things, you know. Uh, it's a way to reprogram your mind. So you journaling. So this one is my favorite. I do this in the morning and at night. So it's by Royce Christens, um, scripting the life that you want. It's uh, in the book. You can look for it in YouTube. He has um, free, free, he talks about it. So basically it's journaling. So what does journaling mean? Um, it means writing down your intentions or what you want to happen for the day. So yung sa kanya kasi, his, his technique, it's very amazing kasi in the morning, what you do is you journal what you want to happen. And at night, you journal what actually happened. So sa akin kasi dami ko ding resistance din na to do, you know, write, even write my books, ganyan. So what I do in the morning, I write down na um, I have written my books or I have written a chapter of my book. 
Uh, I worked on my marketing, my books, ganyan. Um, so you write down the things you want to accomplish for that day. And at night, you write down what actually happened. Let's say, hindi ka pa, ano, you didn't really do anything yet. You just write it. Then, uh, okay, this is what I did. I didn't do the marketing and yan. But you will notice now when you do a habit of this every day na in the morning, writing down what you want to accomplish for that day as if you've already accomplished it. And at night, writing down what really happened Mag-a-align siya. It's so weird. Um, kasi parang, what? This really happened? Ganyan na. Because you're um, training your subconscious mind na to work on your goals. Um, and if you are a procrastinator, this is good. Kasi you're writing down. And use blue ink. Uh, someone just told me, uh, one of my coaches. So I, I get coaching from people. Um, so she writes uh, using, uh, she said, use blue ink it's better para sa subconscious mind mo so writing also parang it helps in more input parang ganyan sa subconscious mind mo it makes it more parang physical putting it into physical form so in the morning write down what you want to happen and at night what actually happened and you will just be amazed it will start to come into place so you can go to YouTube, Royce Christens, uh, Scripting the Life That You Want. Uh, he talks about it and it's the book is available then uh, online. And he also talks about 10-day manifestations then, uh, um, you know, already writing what will happen in the next 10 days. And then parang it's, it just will align talaga. And this one, visualization, this is also the must, must, thing you need to do as a subconscious mind as i mentioned a while ago uh it is works in images and what it wants because the subconscious mind not in this gold study machine um you really have to tell it what you want uh to happen and it has to be in the first person point of view and you have to focus on the end image so let's say um gusto mo yung mansion so let's say you're sipping coffee in your new living room and you're feeling good and you, you can see your ano, your house, kanyang laki ng house mo. So what are you doing? Where are you? How does it feel? If you can focus on that thing lang, if you can focus on that, that will be really great because that's how the subconscious mind works. Uh, just an example, I uh, used it on myself. Um, I wanted to be a certified hypno hypnotist so I just focused na I was at the back of the room and then I was sipping coffee at saka I was in the seminar kasi it was impossible kasi pandemic diba how would I get to Las Vegas you know during a pandemic na I don't know you know what's gonna happen but I just visualized that for a couple months mga four months lang siguro four or five months um that I was at the back of the room ganyan and you know what happened on the first day talaga the um the instructor just passed by me and he said hey how are you doing and i was literally uh, near the end of the hotel uh, the, the the room the annoying uh, lecture room and i was sipping coffee and i was like oh my god it happened uh, lang pala, pala, talaga. your subconscious mind just wants you to think about the end result the end image and what you can do as well is tape loops um listen to it at night um i worked with a coach see dami you know you really need coaching talaga, uh, and you really need someone to guide you someone that's been there so he made a tape loop for me he's wonderful his name is james uh dylan james i really love him he's also on youtube you can look it up um so he made a, a tape loop for me based on our coaching and i listened to it at night and this one is works on your um self image i see it's all about like i'm confident i'm successful like i can do this um you know anything is possible and you listen to it that night you see that's when your subconscious mind is more active because conscious mind nothing is the guard at the gate so when it's it's like guarding the gate like so when you use the loops now uh, you, you're awake so you're gonna be parang it can't penetrate as much 
But when the guard is sleeping, yung conscious mind mo is asleep, nakaka-diretsyo siya sa ano. It goes directly to your subconscious mind. So you do this at night. And I don't know how many hours you sleep, but seven to eight hours of sleep, and you listen to these positive affirmations at night. Grab it. It's really powerful. And it works. Uh, I really suggest that it has to be your self-image that you need to focus on. So, okay, so you can also use affirmations, but your affirmations more has to be aligned with your goals because a lot of people are just using, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. Para, 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 yeah, what? Para ganyan. Or, but you have to be more specific with your affirmations. Use your goals. So let's say, um, I own a mansion, ganyan. Or, I'm happily, lagyan mo ng happily, I'm happily owning a mansion. I'm happy and satisfied in my new mansion. So you use affirmations, but tie it to your goals. Don't just use blind affirmations na, I'm abundant, I'm abundant, because what does it really mean? You can just say, I'm happily, abundantly living in a mansion, or parang ganyan, if you really want to use the word abundant. In Mental Bank Ledger, I use this, this is amazing. Uh, it's a way to reprogram your mind. Um, you can look, um, it's on YouTube as well, but I, I discussed it on my podcast, Against Reality. It's like you're paying yourself for doing your goals. Let's say mine is resistant talaga ako sa ano, um, marketing, ganyan. So I pay myself like money, parang imaginary money. It's imaginary money at, as, uh, in, at first, parang, you assign like let's say you pay yourself two hundred dollars for, or let's say two hundred pesos every time you make cold calls or every time you call someone or text someone regarding your multi-level marketing and yeah, or so you assign yourself a, a value or a, a dollar or a peso value to the things that you're gonna do. Para parang you're motivated ganyan. And at the end of the week, you pay yourself a paycheck and yan. Um, there's a whole a process. It's a, it's a long process. But that's how it works. Basically, you're paying yourself money, imaginary money at first, na, so that you will work on the things that you normally wouldn't want to work on. Kasi parang it's like a motivation sa sayo. So aligned action. So this one is really important uh, if you really want to be successful. You have to plan your week talaga. If you have a calendar right now, lagay mo talaga, calendar mo. Put it in here na, na you went on a success uh, webinar. Uh, and you can batch your work. Let's say like like me, I'm a, I work full time. Uh, you can batch your work. Let's say every Saturdays, that's when you, let's say, do your multi-level marketing from let's say 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Ano talaga, tawag ka ng mga kaibigan mo, mag-set up ka ng appointment. So you can do it on a Saturday, every Saturday or something. Diba? Batch your work. So that's how I, I've been able to write books. Um, like you YouTube pa ako, I have podcasts, then I have a full-time job. Dami pa, diba? How am I able to do it? By planning your week. And also daily action. So you journaling. Uh, looking at your goals card, your meditation, playing the tape loops at night, action related to your goals. So take action related to your goals. Because let's say for me, I wanted, I want to be a best-selling author. So how is it going to happen? I have to write, right? You, you, you can't just pull it out of thin air. Let's say you want uh, to be successful in your multi-level marketing. How can you achieve that? If hindi ka naman nag-cold calls, hindi ka nagtatawag, you're not reaching out, ganyan, di ba? And part of aligned action is always reading books, reading and listening to success books, aligning with Sir John and other successful mentors. Um, and also, this is a trick na I discovered para to put it all together. So in the morning, kasi nagkakapit talaga ako, di ba? So during when I'm making my cup of coffee, I remind myself na to change my posture and tell myself I'm already a best-selling author. So ganyan, let's say um, nagkakape ka or you drink water in the morning or you drink your vitamins. Let's say you drink your vitamins. Already remind yourself na 
oh, I'm already living in a mansion, ganyan, and then change your posture, diba? And it really helps. And yeah, uh, let's see. Send the ball. Dami ko ano. Okay. And here. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. Anyway, so where do you find me? So I have a, a book, Dreams to Reality, and I have a podcast, Dreams to Reality, a podcast. I'm going to send the link later. And here you go. Dummy. So this is how it is. Tiba daming ano open na uh, ano browser. So yan talaga. You have to um what you call multitask. So here. So I'm gonna stop sharing. Yeah. Thanks, Sir John. All right, palakpaka na natin si Coach GD. Wow, what a uh treat we had today uh with everything that she discussed. Grabe, no? All right, uh, let me just uh, go back to the screen. All right, so uh, andito na tayo sa ating last part. And uh, wow, she just opened up a uh, plethora of methods for you. And ang good news niyan is uh, lahat po yan ay iisa-isahin din natin in full detail sa ating Miracle Show. But right now, I would like you to take advantage of uh, your, your uh, the presence of our coach today with the Q&A portion. Ayan. So lahat ng may mga tanong ngayon, uh, meron ba kayong ninanais and you have uh, stumbling blocks or whatever it is that you have in mind, this is your opportunity to get coached uh, for free. Uh, dito kami dalawa ni Coach G ninyo to, to assist you with any questions you have in activating the law of attraction. Now, uh, so habang nag-iisip siguro yung mga tao, uh, Coach G no? Uh, I just wanted to share na uh, many years ago uh, when we uh, we were still in the Philippines para lang sa alakaalaman ng lahat no isa sa mga uh, challenges naming dalawa ni uh, coach Jeannie was our love life no so every time I would go to Cebu parang sinasabi sa akin ni coach Jeannie uh, Sir John siguro it's about time mag masterminding tayo about love life tuwing nagkakasama tayo kasi parehas tayo ng uh, ano natin, issue natin. Ayan yung ano namin eh. Uh, pretty much, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Coach Jeannie was uh, actually, their family was doing well. Uh, ako naman, okay na rin ako noon. But uh, there's one part of our lives na hindi namin talaga ma maayos nung time na yan. So what happened was, every time we'd meet, we'd share techniques, no? Paano ba natin ma-attract yung forever natin and so on and so on? Paano tayo magkaka-girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. Now, uh, apparently, at that point in time, uh, kaka-research namin, Coach Jeannie was able to uh, get this book. I don't know if you remember that, Coach Jeannie, yung binigay mo sa akin. No? Parang, uh, ano yun eh, Law of Attraction, uh, How to Use Law of Attraction for Love. Something like that. Eh. I'm not sure about the title anymore. But the book is actually still here in my library. And I always remember you when I see it. So, uh, grabe yung libro na yun. Uh, just to tell you, Coach Jeannie, yung binigay mo sa akin, yung binasa ko talaga yun. Isang, isang gabi lang tinapos ko from, from start to finish. And uh, yung hindi ko makakalimutan doon, sabi nung, uh, nung nagsulat ng libro, kung gusto mo daw maka-attract ng, you know, ng life partner mo, yung talagang lumabas na yung gusto mong, ano, kailangan ma-feel mo na, alright, yung, alamin mo yung gusto mo, diba? then ma-feel mo na na kasama mo na siya. Kasama mo na siya. So, ang ginawa ko doon, sabi doon sa libro, yung unan mo, dahil mag-isa ka lang, gawin mo, bumili ka ng isa pang unan. Dalawa na yung unan mo dapat sa kama mo para araw-araw pag mahiga ka, nararamdaman mo na may katabi ka na. Yan. Then sabi niya sa akin, bumili ka ng dalawang uh, toothbrush. Kasi yung toothbrush doon, toothbrush ng babae yung ilagay mo. Tapos yun yung ini-imagine mo na toothbrush niya. Alam, alam niyo, grabe to. No? Eh, marami pa tinuro doon eh, na ginawa ko lahat. And uh, ang di ko makakalimutan yung technique, uh, there's a clearing technique na tinuro din doon uh, where you will close your eyes, visualize a, uh, what do you call this, a cord attached to all your past loved ones. Tapos meron kang giant na gunting, gugupitin mo yon para maputol mo na yung energetic cord uh, that is attaching you from your mga ex mo na hindi na, di kayo nagkakatuluyan. Tapos patawarin mo na siya and all of those things. Grabe, sa maniwala kayo hindi. <laughs> all right? Uh, ito mga ginawa namin na nila Jeannie, wow, grabe talaga. 
wala pang six months, wala pang six months. Uh, Jeannie had to leave for the United States. Na iwan ako dito. Pero in just six months, I was able to to attract yung ano yung asawa ko. Yung, yung asawa ko na ngayon, no? so ex girlfriend ko na. <laughs> All right, duma. Pero yun yung bigla siya nagpakita sa akin sa airport. Dala uh, bat first sight ako and uh, Actually, ang talagang shocking doon. Kasi ako papunta ako ng Cebu, actually. Tapos siya naman papunta ng Cagayan de Oro. So it's impossible na magkausap kami, di ba? I was just seeing her in the line in in the airport. Pero nung tumalikod kasi yung yung kasama nung, nung ano, kasama niya, nagulat ako, kakilala ko. Kakilala ko yung kasama niya. So yun yung nag-introduce ngayon sa akin sa napangasawa ko. So do you think that's an accident? I don't think so. <laughs> All right. Yan yung ano, law of attraction, di ba? Nakita mo, naki, di ba? And this is what we do, no? And I've been uh, masterminding with uh, Jeannie for a uh, tagal din, no? Mga one, two years din natin ginawa yun until we, uh, you know, and she's also manifested her, ano, uh, yung kanyang, uh, ano ba, Tom Cruise looking ba? Ano ba, paano ko ba i-describe? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that you'd be shocked at uh, you na attract me, Jeannie. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, Jeannie, at least this is the the time that we can entertain uh, some of our panelists. Yeah, we have actually some uh, video panelists here who can uh, share their takeaways and also their questions. Let's start with ano, no? with uh, uh, Richard Salnungan. Richard, would you uh, care to join us uh, here uh, together with Coach Jeannie? Yeah. Yes, kahit, uh, kahit patayin mo na lang yung video mo muna. Yan, para magbumilis yung internet. Okay. All right. Okay po. Okay. Sige, do you have anything to share? Uh, you know, medyo napuputol ka, Richard. You need to uh, turn off your video na lang. Yes, uh, ni-off ko na po, Sir John. Ayan, ayan. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, before that, magpakilala muna ako. I'm Richard Salnungan. Dati po akong Linis Boy, no? engineer sa junk shop. Nag, uh, file mga bote, uh, labandero, a young farmer. But thank God, uh, ngayon po, uh, isa na rin po akong inspirational speaker, uh, teacher, uh, certified life coach, and trainer. And uh, I really thank God na, na nagiging part ako dito sa success community dahil dito sa uh, success community. Oy, no, wala si Richard. Naputal yung kanyang internet. Anyway, sige. Balikan natin si Richard. Okay, punta tayo kay Mary Ann. Mary Ann, would you like to uh, turn on your video if you are uh, with us right now so that uh, you can uh, interact or uh, with our uh, with Coach Chini? Ayan. So we have one of our uh, youngest uh, community members here joining us and uh, former ano to, no? ano ba? PBB uh, aspire, aspirant. Okay. Sige. So Mary Ann, um, would you like to uh, introduce yourself and maybe if you have a takeaway that you want to share and also uh, if you want to uh, have a question with uh, Coach Jeannie? All right, yeah. thank yeah. you so much, Sir Jan. So, good evening, everyone. Good evening, Sir Jan and Coach Jenny. Uh, once again, uh, I'm Mary Ann Haba and Vasis Po from General Santo City, originally from Visayas. So, and then, uh, ngayon po, I'm so happy and grateful kasi sabi ko nga kanina, Sir Jan, itong affirmation na to, four Ks of affirmation na to, uh, talagang ma-applicable to, especially sa mga first-timer na wisdom broker dito and even sa amin. So, Coach Rini, maraming salamat po kasi sobrang napakalinaw ng mga na-share mo kanina. Even late ako pumasok sa Zoom, nandun ako sa Facebook Live. So, ako din po, I do journaling. So, kanina may nabasa ako na comment. Palagi din naman ako nag affirm palagi ako to journal pero parang uh, hindi effective. So, kanina po malina na lang yung sinabi niyo, kailangan talaga uh, everyday good habit lang po talaga yung siguro yung kailangan naming i-apply at syempre yung attitude din po. So, maraming salamat po sa uh, mm -hmm. mo sa amin tonight. So, thank you so much Sir John. All right, palampakan naman natin si uh, Mary Ann. Thank you very much for sharing. Let's bless allow us to bless you. We believe in you. We bless you and we prosper you even more today. Ayan. Now, uh, let's have uh, Thank you. Okay, let's have Richard back on screen. Ayan, Coach Richard. Ayan po, I think okay na. Okay, so yeah, go. Ni change ko na yung ano eh. Uh, anyway, ayun po, uh, thank you uh, so much, uh, Ma'am Jamie. I'm so blessed for this night. And actually, yung tinuturo niyo po sa amin, uh, sobrang ano, laking sala, ano, pasasalamat namin dahil 
Uh, advance na po ito, tinuturo ni Sir John sa amin. And sa mga nag-join po dito, lalo na sa mga first time na hindi pa po nakapag-join ng It's a Miracle Show, every Saturday po yon 7.30pm, mag-join po kayo para mas lalo nyo pong maintindihan yung uh, tinuturo ngayon ni uh, Coach Janie. Ayan, I really encourage you. At saka, ano yung sabi nyo kanina, yung about love life? <laughs> to Sir John eh. So, so <laughs> Nag-join po ako uh, yung ano, Uh, kasi ako medyo negative ako dati eh, na mag-join sa ano sa It's a Miracle Show. Eh, sobrang negative ako. And doon ako nag-join no <laughs> pag ano yung third time na. And then exactly po yung uh, tinuro ni Sir John doon is about love life. Eh, <laughs> Sir John, about love life po 'yon. And alam niyo yung ano uh, ni-apply ko po yung <laughs> tinuro ni Sir John. Ano po, ilang days lang, I think um, less than a week nagkatotoo talaga eh. <laughs> <laughs> y- yung tinuro ko doon galing sa libro yun na binigay ni, G- ni Coach Jeannie sa akin <laughs> so, so napay it forward ko sa'yo and congrats ha I, I saw the picture and uh, nung, uh, nung naging girlfriend mo after so many years na single ka uh, finally uh, sobrang ganda ng iyong uh, iyong girlfriend Richard congrats you deserve you deserve only the best dahil uh, sobrang bait mo rin and you uh, you are very a uh, gentleman and caring guy kaya nung na-clear ano na yun eh part na yan ng clearing process eh kaya dumating na sa'yo eh mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> tapos ano Sir John no? uh, ang pinakamaganda po yung sa It's a Miracle Show natin ano eh uh, dun mo tinuturo yung mga ano yung pinakasikat o yung mga pinaka high performer na pag once i-apply natin yung mga tinuturo ni Sir John dun sa It's a Miracle Show talagang pwede ka sobrang talino one day and sobrang high performer ka. And I think, Sir John, uh, i-share ko rin po, dahil po rin sa ano, It's a Miracle Show, ngayon po, I'm so blessed na super dami kong connection. Um, you, you know, kahit mga general, mga artista, uh, yung mga sikat na tao, yung mga sobrang influential, mga mayor ba yan, uh, kapitan, marami po different ano uh, sa iba't ibang profession. Uh, sobrang napakabilis na sa akin yung makipag-connect sa kanila. And ang maganda po, sila po yung mga ano, uh, kusang lumalapit sa akin para mag-ask ng help, etc. Pang ganon, yan po yung natutu- ano, natutunan ko kay Sir Jan. So, ito po, uh, Ma'am Jenny, may tanong lang po ako sa inyo ngayon. Uh, since po, sabi ni Sir Jan, eh, marari, marami rin po kayong na-interview na mga successful na tao. So, ang tanong ko po, ano po ba yung mga challenges pag... Uh, every time na ini-interview mo sila and pangalawang tanong ano po yung mga tamang approach so that mag-guess ka agad yung mga taong gusto mong i-interview and ito po yung last question ito po medyo malayo to pwede po bang i-balance yung uh, left brain at saka yung uh, right brain ayun po oh. sa interview lang talaga I think um, just be yourself kasi Um, sometimes when ano, ano when you think na ah this person is more successful than me parang nakakabahan ka just be yourself just ano just know na tao lang sila and then yung second question mo is about you visualize uh, you visualize the person that you want to interview um, you think about sino ba yung gusto mo na ma-interview ano who do you uh, Meron ka ba daw ano a uh, specific person na uh, in the future you want to actually uh, be given a chance na ikaw ang mag-interviewer? Uh, actually y- yan po yung ginagawa ko pero I want to ano mag-level up pa yung mga sikat na masyado na mga ano. Can you uh, like give us mga, one person? Like specific like example sila ano uh, Brian Pilipinas Tracy, tayo. Ah, ay, Pilipinas. Right. Uh, yung mga pili ano um sa Pilipinas, medyo marami na kachaw na interview. Yung sa international, ano, like oh, Brian Tracy, okay. yung mga kilala ni Sir John, yung nakilala niya personally, na namit, yun po yung parang goal ko in the future. All right, very good. Yeah, so, tam, uh, I agree with uh, Coach Jeannie, no? Uh, just be yourself. Uh, kasi ano yan, eh, uh, you have to match yung, ano, eh, yung vibration nila. Eh. So, kung matatakotin ka, katulad ng sabi ni uh, Jeannie kanina, hindi sila mapupunta sa'yo, eh. Diba? Kasi you can only attract what you are. Yan, yan yung pinaka-key doon eh. Yung, ulitin ko, you can only attract what you are. So kung hindi ka ganun, hindi dadating sa field ng consciousness mo yung ganong klaseng tao eh. So pag nag upgrade ka na ng level of thinking mo, level of feeling mo uh, to higher vibration, ma-attract mo na rin yung people with, high vib- with the highest vibrations. Yan. 
and I, I think the heavily uh, kanina uh, Coach Genie was able to discuss al- uh, for a large part ng discussion niya yung mga bagay na ganun. Kaya nga nagki-clear tayo kasi clearing uh, you're letting go of ano eh, yung mga uh, ano ito eh, blockages mo in terms of your negative belief. Kasi di ba yung sabi ni Coach Genie kanina yung gusto mo ito pero yung nakalagay sa subconscious mo ito. So kinokontra niya. Sabi mo, oh, gusto ko makamit ng ganito, pero sa loob ng, ng isip at puso mo, kinakabahan ako eh, baka mamaya mapaya ako, baka hindi naman nila ako pansinin. Eh hindi mo ma-attract eh. Di ba? Kasi ang masusunod lagi yung subconscious, hindi yung, hindi yung gusto mo eh. So ito yung dapat ayusin mo. And through the techniques na tinuro kanina ni Coach Gini, no, yung ni-run down niya yung mga techniques, marami yun. No? Anyway, iniisa isa naman natin yan during the trainings. Alright? Uh, and if you are you know, have time to research that, you can go ahead actually as early as now na pag-aralan yun, no? even if hindi pa natin dinidiscuss sa miracles. But anyway, dadaanan din natin lahat yan. Alright? Uh, Co- uh, Coach Gini, uh, any further advice to Richard? Um, yun, um, I think you have to visualize talaga. If you can make, ano, maybe nagko-computer ka ba, you put your face uh, and then you put the faces of yung mga Brian, uh, uh, yung mga tao na gusto mo ma-attract. So let's say gusto mo yung show mo, uh, you put yourself in the center at saka yung mga people na gusto mo ma- ma-guest. Or you can make a poster na, ganyan. Make a poster na um, I'm interviewing th- these people. Ganyan. So, yeah. claiming it. Nice. Okay. So, uh, Richard, what's your last question kanina? You had uh, one last question, di ba, na hindi related. Mag- magkaiba yung question eh. Yes po. Uh, pwede po bang i-balance yung uh, right brain at saka yung left brain? Yes. Uh, Coach Jeannie, go ahead. Um, actually, yes. Yun yung ang ginagawa natin, yung aligned action visualization is right brain. At saka uh, writing down your goals and taking action, that's left brain. So left brain is more yung critical thinking, yung action steps, this, this, and that. So that's what we're doing na, yung mga, you're writing down your, your goals, that's left brain. Pero you're visualizing, that's the right brain. So when you do these things, Na, ano na you're combining them just make it a lifestyle na it's not only na you're just visualizing lang you're also taking action so uh, scheduling your 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 week or your day or your month that's a left brain activity diba journaling uh, it's partly left brain um pero yung visualization yung yung ganyan uh, at night or yung mga affirmations it's more right brain so you are already balancing it na if you are doing those things. All right. So uh coach Richard na na gets mo ba yun nakapatay yung mic mo? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you right. rin sir John. Oh, may, nag, may, may nag-comment dito si Cheska. Sabi ni Cheska, iba talaga nagagawa ng success community. Gumagawa po ang mga students at nagkakaroon na ng love life. <laughs> oh, living proof ka daw, Richard. Kaya maraming na-inspire sa'yo at sa ating tatlo na rin. <laughs> Alright. Sige. So, uh, we have uh, somebody here. Okay, let's uh, allow us to bless you, Richard, before we let you go. We believe in you. We bless you. We prosper you even more today. Ayan. Okay, okay, so, I receive it with great joy po. I don't Thank know you. kung uh, naka-tune in si Coach Jason Padilla dito. Ayan, kasi I think uh, Jason knows uh, Jeannie. You, you met, I don't know if you remember Jason. Ayan, antay natin mag-on air si Jason. Jason, uh, would you like to uh, greet everybody and uh, also interact with uh, Coach Jeannie? Hello, Jeannie. Long Hi. time no see. Long time no see. <laughs> uh, nagulat ka ako, Sir John. Uh, magtingin ko sa page natin siya yung speaker. Kaya ni Mrs. Kugan sabi ko, welcome aboard. Yes, uh, parehas mo Bisaya. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> so, um, ayan, nice meeting you again, Coach Jenny. So, uh, may ano ako, Sir John, itong uh, reinforcement doon sa sinabi niya kanina na visualization. So, actually, yung mga most of the time na, na visualize ko, either hindi, minsan kasi, uh, akala kasi ng iba, uh, meron pala tayong na-visualize na hindi natin gusto. 
So yung mga nangyayari exactly na hindi pala meron ako na visualize na hindi ko gustong mangyari. So nung binalikan ko siya, yung kanina narinig ko kay Coach Jane, ah, sabi ko kaya pala siya nangyari uh, dahil na visualize ko. Even hindi ko siya gusto, uh, nangyari pala siya. Tama ba yun Coach Jane? Um sometimes kasi what we focus on yung kasi yung na ano eh na ma-manifest. So if you're focusing on what you don't want, yun din yung ano mo, yung energy mo nakalagay doon. So maybe that's the reason na, na, na it came through. Kasi you were, remember yung clarity, focus first sa mga negative na ayaw mo and then get, get rid of that. Kasi if you don't get rid of that, parang it will really manifest. Parang get it out of the way. Uh, pero it's okay kasi manifestation is a daily thing. Even if you manifested what you don't want, um, you just course correct. Di ba? Kasi GPS, di ba? Nawawala din tayo. Di ba? Nawawala yung signal. Or um, you just course correct. Um, just go on with your life even if it was negative or ganyan. Just, go, just move on and just, okay, this is what happened. Okay, uh, I'll just move on. Alright, uh, mali, ang nangyari pala kasi dati dumami yung utang ko kasi ang nabivisualize ko, sino yung mautangan ko? <laughs> Lagi mo naiisip. <laughs> yung Actually, nangyari. ano eh, uh, in Miracles, we're going to talk about uh, ano eh, uh, tiltang, yung word na conscious kasi, uh, ano yun eh, uh, kunwari for example in breathing, uh, Jeannie mentioned breathing kanina, Coach Jeannie said about breathing. May tinatawag din na uh, uh, breathing awareness. You're just aware that you're breathing. Pero meron tinatawag na conscious breathing. Conscious breathing. So uh, ngayon, for example, mag, I want to relax. I'm going to do conscious breathing. So monitor mo na yung breathing mo. So ang nangyayari dyan, uh, the natural flow of life is uh, unconscious yung flow eh. Diba? Pero ngayon, you want to take hold of your life. You want to script it. Eh. Gusto mo na isulat yung gusto mo mangyari. Kaya nga dapat, consciously, dinidirect mo yung thoughts mo. Kumbaga, you, you lead what you are thinking and feeling. Hindi yung parang uh, reactive ka lang sa nangyayari at nakikita mo, naririnig mo, di ba? Ganon. So, pinipili mo na kung ano yung binibigyan mo na attention. Kasi we attract both ways. Alam mo, Jason, tama yung sinabi mo. Eh, no? And I agree, I agree with uh, Coach Jeannie. Ang attraction kasi akala ng tao parang puro positive. Hindi. Every day, uh, you attract both the negative and positive based on kasi na, ano yan eh, both dumadating sa buhay mo yung thoughts na yan eh, and feelings na yan eh. Pero ngayon, pag conscious ka, mini-minimize mo. Di ba? Yung negative na pinag-uusapan mo, tinitignan mo. Pero wala naman tao sig- unless you become uh, you know I, I, unless you tiguro naabot mo na yung level ni Jesus. Di ba? <laughs> na talagang wala nang negative. Eh, pero yun naman yung goal natin. Uh, yun yung challenge sa buhay, di ba? You have to train your mind na you are still. Ibig sabihin ng still, you are quiet, calm, at peace, centered every moment na hindi ka nakakabalik dun sa negative thoughts. Alright? And that's uh, the best way to still do that is the practice of uh, breathing and meditation. Yan eh. You, 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 you achieve that when you are, you are silent, when you are silencing your, your mind. Yan. So yun, um, I think uh, maganda yung shinare mo. No? Kasi, uh, pero ito rin ha, para lang aware kayo. Alam nyo ba pag numalakas na yung manifestation powers mo? Kasi parang muscle yan na, ano, ikaw nag-gym ka Jason, di ba? <laughs> parang pag nagbubuhat ka ng barbell, lumalakas yung kanang kamay mo. Kung depende sa binubuhat mo, lumalaki muscle. So pag nagpa-practice ka ng visualization, ng attraction, lumalakas din yung manifestation mo. Pero habang lumalakas yung positive manifestation mo, bumibilis din dumating sa'yo yung negative. Kaya nga, ika nga sa Spider-Man, uh, kumbaga, with great power comes great responsibility. Kasi ngayon, pag mabilis ka na mag-manifest, eh, nag, na, bigla ka nakaisip ng negative. Pati yung negative, kakaripas ng takbo papunta sa buhay mo. So, inisip mo, nakaisip ka ng pangit na babae, mamaya lang, yun na yung nakayakap sa'yo. Sorry ka na lang, kasi mabilis ka na rin mag-attract eh. <laughs> Diba? So, kailangan habang dinidevelop mo yon hmm. dapat oh, mas lalo kang uh, kumbaga uh, mas, yung, yung awareness mo, yung level mo of awareness. Ano yan eh? Paakit kasi na uh, paakit eh. Diba? Aw- yung awareness mo uh, nag- nag-expand na na talagang ano ka uh, be careful. Diba? What you think uh, think about kasi you just might get it. 
Yeah, be careful what you wish for. No? <laughs> you might just get it. Ika nga nung kanta. Yan. Ayun. Ayan, Do you um, have a... Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yun. Uh, thank you, Sir John. Kaya yeah, yun, ano, uh, narealize ko talaga, Sir John, uh, dati yung mga trainings and seminars natin, ang daming nag-attend, uh, yung iba, uh, ma- mabilis na kapag attract na mabilis na demonstration tapos bakit yung iba matagal so doon pala nagkatalo kasi uh, tulad sa atin sa success community ito yung na-realize ko dahil uh, the same lang tinuturo na ways to earn natin yung mga uh, trade uh, trading natin tapos yung student gets to the same lang siya bakit yung iba uh, na- nahuli tapos mas mauni pang kumita so uh, i realize talaga ngayon yung sinabi ni coach Jason na depende pala dai doon sa sa iniisip at binivisualize nung yes. ano nung karamihan. So ang ano niyan, ang determining factor is ano eh, uh, yung last two, yun yung pinaka ano kasi hindi na, na nagagawa which is the, the uh, actually yung reprogramming, all right? And uh, yung yung clearing, actually pati yung action. Kasi ano eh, marami pang hanggang pangarap na lang. <laughs> Pero pero yung action kasi galing doon sa clearing and doon sa subconscious programming eh. Pag tama na kasi pag clear ka kasi at tama yung pagkaka-reprogram, yun din ang nagdedetermine ng magiging action eh. So we can actually remove the action part sa totoo lang doon sa four steps eh because it's only a uh, result it becomes a factor of etong tatlong na una eh. Diba? Kasi again, the formula is thoughts lead to feelings, feelings lead to action, and your actions produce your results. So yung very important. Pero yung clearing kasi, marami kasi nagturo ng visualization, yung pelikula na The Secret, Law of Attraction, marami na in-interview. Hindi nila sinabi yun eh, na yung ano pala, yung existing na programs mo, yung belief system mo, na hindi mo pa nakiklear or hindi mo pa na nare-reprogram, i- yun pa rin yung play, nagpe-play na record. Kaya kahit sabi mo, yayaman ako, yayaman ako, yayaman ako. Mapapangasawa ko, guwapo, 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 guwapo. Pangit pa rin kasi <laughs> ang talaga nakasulat dun sa budi mo, sa isip mo, eh, pangit talaga yung papunta sa'yo palagi. So yun, uh, you have to clear that. Kaila, kung baga sa cup, hindi mo malalagyan ng bago. I'm, I'm sure Coach uh, uh, Jeannie would... Uh, what they call this would uh, also affirm this. Diba? Yung ka, paano mo lalagyan ng bagong tubig kung puno na siya? You have to empty it. Eh. Kailangan mo munang i-clear. Yun yung clearing. Wala nang laman eh. So be, pwede mo na siyang i-reprogram pag wala nang laman. Yun yung sinasabi ni Jeannie dun sa steps niya kanina. And I'm glad kasi she simplified it eh. In a way na apat lang yung kailangan mong tandaan. And I, I really appreciate that. Yeah. Abe, thank you, thank yeah. you. Yeah. So, any any uh, words of advice for Jason or any uh, suggestion, kay Jason, Coach? Um, yeah. So yun, uh, I think you have to work on the version 2.0 version of you. Kasi sabi ni Sir John yung babalik yung ano yung past programming mo. So you really have to uh, let go na of the old version na pala utang or may utang. And just focus on the version 2.0 of Jason na wala ng utang and parang ganyan. Um, kasi the reason this is called yung lahat kasi nagmamanifest is related to our self-image. Kung yung self-image mo talaga is, you know, I'm not worthy, I don't deserve, ganyan. Ibabalik at babalik ka talaga. Di ba yung mga milyonaryo na they achieve millions pero babalik pa rin sila sa zero kasi yung self-image nila is someone na who's a failure. So if there's something you need to work on, it's your version 2.0 version of you. Ganyan, yung self-image mo. And it can only happen by reprogramming. Uh, yung, ano, yung loops, that, that one helps yung tape loops na ano, I'm successful, um, you know, I'm attractive, ganyan, ganyan. Oh, All right. Uh, follow-up question, Coach Jenny. Meron bang correlation and effect nung maliit pa ako uh, mula nung nagising ako sa mundong ibabaw hanggang I think high school yata na palagi akong inuutusan ng parents ko na mangutang doon sa tindahan. May effect ba yun? Dadala yeah. ng tali tapos ganun. May effect yun, di ba? Yeah, kasi lahat ng ano, lahat ng nangyayari sa atin nasa store sa subconscious mind. So I think that's na plant ng parents mo, di ba? Kasi parents, di ba sila yung nag, uh, ano sa'yo na, 
you go you go make utang ganyan di ba their voice of authority so in your in your mind na parang oh okay um okay pala dapat pala magutang you that becomes the norm so you have to clear that you have to clear that program and you just have to understand na it's just a program na na ano kasi a lot of the things that happen to us right now programs natin yan nung pagbata pa natin eh so yeah it's related talaga and you have to clear that yeah yan ah uh, isa pa sir Jan may correlation din yung namulis siya ako nung 10 years old ako <laughs> <laughs> Siguro tatanungin mo pa ba yun, Jason? <laughs> I guess we did, Sir John. Uh, uh, may tanong nila ako kay Coach Jenny. Uh, <laughs> eh, huwag mo na ibigay to kay Richard. Ano yung dating app na yun? Dating, ano daw yung dating app na gamit? <laughs> al- al- alam ko yan, oy. alam ko. <laughs> Alright. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Thank so, you, thank you, Coach Jenny. Uh, okay, so... Uh, Ilipay ko mo, nakakakaroon da rin. Uh, okay. So let's uh, bless uh, Jace, Coach Jason. We believe in you. We bless you. We prosper you even more today. Ayan ang gusto-gusto ko kay Jason. Eh, minsan nakakalimutan ko yung mga problema ko kasi sa sobrang corny. <laughs> Doon ka matatawa eh. <laughs> Ayan, uh, but you know, sabi nga nila, laughter is the best medicine. Ayan. Okay, uh, wait. Let me just, before I forget, no, uh, uh, Coach Jeannie um, mentioned about looping. No? looping. Kasi in hypnosis, it's actually repeated suggestions over and over again in the uh, alpha theta state. Ngayon, uh, para alam nyo lang, I had a coaching client ko no, na pumunta sa akin. Uh, she's actually a, uh, uh, a world billiard champion. And uh, nangyari nun, she's incurred a lot of, uh, a streak of losses. No? Nanalo siya ng world championship. Pilipino to, no? Pilipina, actually. Na, then sunod-sunod yung talo niya. So, she trained with me and then I started Uh, coaching her. Nung nagpa-coach niya sa akin, uh, she actually went to my office. Ginawa ko, may upuan ako doon. Pinaupo ko siya. Then meron kaming uh, studio kasi uh, we, we have a studio in the office. Ni-record ko yung bosses niya. Alright? Na sasabihin niya, I am lovingly becoming diba, the nine ball world billiard champion. Ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos paulit-ulit yun. Then eh, ang instruction ko sa kanya, pag matutulog na siya, ilalagay niya yung, do, yung MP3 na yon doon sa cellphone niya. Tapos ilulup niya yon na paulit-ulit magpe-play habang natulog siya. Sa so, maniwala kayo hindi, two years after, she became world champion. Ng bu- ano to Champion ng buong mundo. Alright? Ay, in nine, nine ball world billiard champion. Alright? So, natutunan ko yan. Uh, it, it, it's actually one of the... Uh, more profound techniques in neuro-linguistic programming. But right now, if I may, uh, if you will allow me, Coach Gene, you know, I'd like to share a video about how ginamit ito ni Tiger Woods. All right? I actually clip a video na yan din yung ginamit ni Tiger Woods para maging sobrang yaman niya at maging world champion siya. Tinur- uh, inano siya ng daddy niya na i-record natin yung bosses mo. Tapos meron siyang vision board nakalagay na doon sa dingding niya na ano na yung level ng champion siya nang bata pa lang siya. Tapos so, sinasabi niya, tinatanong siya ng, ng mga tao, ano yan? Ah, that's me at age 13. I'm already champion of ganito. Age 15, panalo na ako. Alright? Pero actually, bata pa siya, hindi pa siya 15 years old. So, yun yung ano niya, vini-visualize niya everyday. So, panoorin natin to and I hope, uh, baka mahulog kayo sa upuan niyo dahil uh, I'm sure after nito, kukulitin niyo kami ni Jeannie kanino pwedeng magpagawa ng tape loops. <laughs> All right, so let's watch this and I hope uh, this is just I think one minute or two minutes. Let's watch this. This is from the movie The Life Story of Tiger Woods. Ito maraming hindi alam nito eh pero panoorin natin to. What are you doing? That's Jack Nicholas at age 10. Mm-hmm. That's Jack at age 9 when he first broke 50 for nine holes. I broke 50 at age 3. Jack broke 80 at 12. I broke 80 at 8. Jack broke 70 at 13. And Tiger at 12. Jack won his first U.S. Amateurs when he was 19. I'm gonna win when I'm 18. I like to do everything Jack did, but earlier. Oh, just don't get so big-headed, young man. Daddy? Mm-hmm? You always told me to aim for the stars, and at least you'll hit the moon. 
Did I say that? Mm -hmm. I'm a smart guy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mom said they'll be ready in a minute, okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> and determined in all things. I am focused and determined in all things. My destiny is of my own choosing. My destiny is of my own choosing. My will is my greatest ally. I can move mountains with my will. My will is my greatest ally. I can move mountains with my will. I believe in myself with my whole heart. I believe in myself with my whole heart. after the opening round. Tiger finishes the back nine with a remarkable score of six under par 30. And for a 21-year-old, this young man is showing a great deal of composure. All right. Wow, palakpakan naman natin. Wow, did you see that? <laughs> Grabe, di ba? <laughs> Yan yung sinasabi na, no? na tape loops. Na si tape pa kasi noon eh. Ngayon, MP3 na. <laughs> MP4 na pala ngayon, GD, di ba? <laughs> you can do mind movies in MP4 and uh, tape loops in MP3. Yan. Where you record your... Pero mas maganda yan, tutulugan mo na eh. Okay, tutulugan mo na siya, natuloy-tuloy siya. Uh, 8 to 10 hours siya nagpe-play pa ulit-ulit sa, sa mind mo. And pag mogul ka, pag ginawa mo ito, bigla ka yayaman. <laughs> Because ano yan, eh, repetition at the, nabukas yung subconscious mind. It, it scripts what you want to happen into your, directly into your subconscious. Ayan. Sige, so I guess uh, this is it for now. Uh, do, yung mga audience natin na hindi panelists, do you have any questions kay Coach Ginny? Uh, dahil medyo ano na rin, oh, it's, uh, we're, we only have nine minutes left all right, before we say goodbye. Okay, so if you have any other questions, this is your chance. Ayat. Sabi ni Tomo. Questions, Tito Sir Jan, basahin ko. Okay, go ahead. Ah, sabi ni Josephine Caban. Yano po usually ka karisulta pag inapply po ang next days or weeks. O meron po bang ura ura dang kasagutan o result? Okay. Ah, Coach Jenny, would you like to address that? How long daw bago mangyare? Ah. So it really depends uh, on level of resistance more. So that's why clearing really helps. Because um, if you are really doing the clearing work, the subcon um, it's really fasting. Sometimes it's like this. But if it's not manifesting yet, it means that you have um, self-limiting beliefs that you're not aware of yet that needs to be cleared. So there's really no time in itself because it can happen instantly if you don't have resistance. It's really the resistance that's holding you back. Yung mga self-limiting beliefs. Yon. So, uh, I agree with the Coach Jeannie dyan. No? Kaya, parang ano yun eh. It's like, imagine the highway. Di ba, sinabi, yung kinikweta ko sa Miracle. It's like a highway to God eh. No, yung highway mo, may roadblocks. Di ba, may roadblock eh. Alam niyo yung roadblock pag inaharangan yung daan, di ba? Pag may, let's say, may nangyayari, inaharangan ng police. Ngayon, pag nagkiklearing tayo, tinatanggal mo pa isa-isa yung roadblock. Ngayon, pag wala ng roadblock, mas madali na makadating sa'yo yung 10 million pesos. Makakadating na yung love of your life. Pero kung marami yung roadblocks, 
mabagal kasi paano siya dadaan di ba the, the, the dream needs to you know uh, maze through the, the block di ba so sisiksik pa siya doon hindi siya makadating kagad eh. pero kung yung highway mo walang roadblock eh, the only distance between you and the dream is you know seconds lang pwede mo na siyang ma-manifest kaya nga may mga tao iniisip pa lang nila ngayon kaya nilang kumita ng 1 billion pesos in just 1 minute di ba because they are very clear already. Okay? Uh, like, like for, for example, former uh, CEO of, uh, of Apple Corporations, Steve Jobs. This guy, uh, grabe, he goes to the Himalayas and meditates there. <laughs> Week, uh, weeks in meditation, doesn't think of the office, iniiwanan niya, nakiklearing siya dun eh. Kaya pagbalik niya, yung ideas, yung flow ng paano niya gagawin yung iPhone and everything, sobrang bilis dumadating sa kanya. Yan. So, uh, clearing is something we discuss in Miracles on a weekly schedule uh, every Saturday. We're going to go d deep into that. But to answer your question, if you ask me naman, uh, tama si Coach Jeannie, walang time frame yan. Kasi in the law of the universe, there is such a thing as a, yung tinatawag na law of, ano eh, uh, uh, what do you call this? Dalawa yan eh, na mag-a-affect dyan. The law of gestation and law of rhythm. Okay, the law of gestation states that any seed planted, only God knows when it will uh, actually be sown. Yan, only God knows. Uh, hindi malalagyan siya ng specific time frame. Ang alam lang natin, bumibilis lang siya, pero hindi rin natin alam gaano kabilis talaga uh, depending on our clarity. Yan. Okay, e clarity kasi is equal to your faith. So gaano kalakas yung faith mo? Kasi pag clear ka, yung faith mo sobrang taas. Ayan. How long daw, sabi ni Gigi, uh, to e, if you use EFT daw to attract money, same thing. All right? Uh, wala namang ano. But you will, uh, if you do EFT, it can release the negative feelings in less than five mm -hmm. minutes. Mm -hmm. Ganon siya kabilis. And that, that actually contributes na to your clearing. Kaya kung ako tatanoy mo, bibilis talaga dumating yung pera sa'yo. But we don't know the specific time. Di ba? Wala naman makakaalam yan, just lang. Ayan. Ah, ito, Coach Gini. Ito, baka masagot mo to. Is physical exercise, can it uh, affect uh, or, or how does it affect your subconscious mind? Uh, physical exercise? Uh, kasi physical exercise, di ba, nag-release ng endorphins. So, actually, uh, what's really important is when you're trying to manifest your dreams, talagang you feel good. Um, and I know it just has to feel good. So physical exercise, if that makes you feel good, that's really gonna help. Uh, so, uh, ibig sabihin, uh, you know, pag nag-exercise kasi part of that, you're actually ano eh, putting air, breathing more air. So definitely, kasi breathing pa rin yan, it will increase your manifestation powers. Yeah. Meron akong dagdag, Sir John. Okay lang. Yes, go ahead. Uh, sa physical exercise. Mm -mm. Uh, yan, tama yung sabi ni Coach Jin, eh, uh, it will release uh, endorphins, yung happy hormones. Tapos kung mapansin mo, after exercise, ang ganda ng mga pananaw mo, ang ganda ng ano mo, nung, uh, yung araw, kaysa doon sa uh, hindi ka nasanay. So kung nasanay ka doon, kasi uh, endorphins yun, magre-release siya ng endorphins. So yun yung ano, uh, maganda. Alright. So uh, may nagtanong dito, uh, could you Please give examples of three examples of roadblocks uh, or limiting beliefs, daw, uh, Coach Genie. Ano daw yung mga possible na kumu contra na kailangan matangkal? Yung common talaga is I'm not worthy, I'm not enough, I'm not capable. Yun yung mga common na parang I'm not worthy. It's Usually, Which are actually uh, nalagay sa atin nung childhood years natin. Eh. Either classmate mo yan, sasabi niya sa'yo, hindi ka naman magiging ganito eh, bobo ka eh, tanga ka eh, di ba? Yung mga ganun. Uh, or parents mo, di ba? Anak, huwag mo na ambisyon eh na maging mayaman kasi uh, masasamang tao yung mga mayaman. So ang paniniwala mo ngayon, masasama yung mayaman, sa, ang subconscious mo, ayaw kanyang payamanin kasi tingin niya, magiging masama ka pag yumaman ka. Di ba? So, yan. Ang pinakamalalim actually dyan na pinaka-challenging i-clear is yung uh, I am worthy and I am enough. Yan. Kasi a lot of people, pag mabab mababa na masyado yung tingin natin sa sarili natin when, when we are 20 years old and above, uh, 
uh, and it becomes even worse as we grow older so yun yung mahi, ma, ano, mahabang it takes a lot of ano, of uh, uh, you know uh, clearing ano talaga uh, practice to actually uh, get rid of it na ma zero mo siya and uh, actually sabi ng mentor ko si T Harv Eker wala nang nakaka zero niyan eh kasi pag na zero mo yan si Jesus ka na eh <laughs> di ba pag tinawag mo na sa iyo na yung di ba si Jesus pag sinabi pa lang ni Jesus tinapay at isda maging 5000 ka ngayon na pang boom nun andiyan na kagad yung 5000 na isda all right mm-hmm. kasi yun yung level ng na ano eh na parang pinapakita ni Jesus pag naging uh, if you can live like me sabi ni Jesus if you can have the consciousness that I have the Christos consciousness or the Christ consciousness na tinatawag you can manifest and attract as fast as I was able to do it yan yung sinasabi ni Jesus kaya nga ano eh pinibiginigay niya yung sample or yung role model siya na gayahin mo kasi pag wala kang uh, mataas yung faith mo di ba um, you, you can attract very fast eh Ayan. So marami pa yan. For example, I'll give you one very ano uh, ito yung laging paniniwala ng mga ano eh, mga mahihirap eh. Uh, yayaman din ako pag dumating yung break ko. Yung break, dadating pag dumating na yung break ko. So ngayon nangyayari eh, dahil wala namang break na doon. <laughs> Hindi niya ano eh, parang dapat ang maging paniniwala mo, you can be rich anytime. Not un- not only pag dumating yung break. Kasi mangyayari doon, kung yung break mo dumating ng 68 years old ka na, doon ka lang yayaman kasi yun ang paniniwala mo. Eh. Nayayaman ka lang pag dumating yung, yung break mo eh. Di ba? Yung parang kasi pag sabi may break ako, na-discover ka na mag-artista ka, uh, natanggap ka sa magandang posisyon sa trabaho, doon lang, yung paniniwala mo, doon ka lang yayaman eh. So yung mga ganun, no? marami yung pani, uh, marami yung ano, uh, limiting beliefs yung tawag dyan. And they are the source of your uh, not being clear. Wala kang clarity kasi pag meron. Yes, yan, tama yan. Trauma is actually one of the major sources of limiting beliefs. Yung mga traumatic experience. Na-rape ka, na, pag na-rape ka kasi bababa tingin mo sa sarili mo. Kaya nga maraming na-rape nagiging prostitute eh. Kasi uh, sobrang baba na yung tingin nila sa sarili nila. Uh, ayaw na, gina-justify na lang nila yon by, by just giving themselves to uh, other men easily. Okay? Ano yan eh? It's a response mechanism ng subconscious mind. Yan. So, hindi nila ma-overcome. Dahil parang ano na eh, parang eto na ako eh, madumi na ako eh. So, magpapakadumi na lang ako. Yan. Malala, maano nyo yan, yung mga, mga sa psychologist pag pumupunta yung mga ano. And when you're a coach, maganyan yung mga <laughs> may encounter mo na issues. Yan. So, trauma, tra- other trauma, di ba, tinula ka sa swimming pool, nalunod ka, and then you now have the belief na you can't become uh, a good sports athlete kasi <laughs> you now have that fear. So, kailangan, matanggal mo muna yung ano na yun, yung, yung emotional attachment mo nung nalunod ka. Not necessarily yung nalunod ka because you cannot erase memories. Eh. Tandaan nyo yan, eh. you can, nobody can erase memories. Eh. Even the entire universe, nakarecord lahat ng memories. It is all in the Akashic record. So, spiritually speaking then, you cannot erase it. It's already there. Uh, ang, the only thing you can change is your interpretation about what happened to you. And that interpretation is actually your belief. Yun yung nagiging paniniwala eh. Yan. Diba? So, yan on. So, these are things that are not being talked about. But I think... Uh, the biggest, for me, the biggest takeaway ko dito, Coach Jeannie, is that you were able to open the eyes of na, of everybody na ang attraction pala, hindi as simple as, it's simple, but it's, uh, uh, what do you call this? There is a uh, a process for it to actually, uh, for the dream to make manifest. Yan. Ibig sabihin, bago mangyari yung, yung katotohanan ng pinapangarap mo, may proseso na pinagdadaanan. Pag hindi hindi ka aware, hindi ka nag-aral nito, 'di ba? Narinig mo lang yung attraction. Lalo na pag wala kang alam, hindi ni, ni yung word na law of attraction, hindi mo pa alam, eh, lalo nang worst for you, 'di ba? So it is uh, in the wisdom of understanding the law, how it works, mm-hmm. it gives you power. 
pero maraming tao ayaw bigyan ng oras na aralin to eh. Sige lang na sige sa labas. Kung baka naglalaro ka ng basketball, hindi mo naman alam yung rules. How, paano ba gumagana basketball? Hindi mo alam. Apak ka ng apak dun sa line. Eh yun pala, foul, foul ka na or ano ka na, stepping on the line, violation ka na pala. Yun din yun. Alright? So, I hope you appreciated this. Would you like to, uh, yung mga nanonood sa atin, uh, para naman uh, mabigyan natin ng konting uh, words of appreciation si Coach Jeannie, would you like to type sa lahat ng natutunan nyo ngayon, ano yung takeaway nyo naman? Uh, kung wala na kayong question, ano yung, uh, ano yung tumama sa inyo? Doon sa four, uh, four keys na tinuro niya, ano yung parang, parang ito yung parang masasabi mo na wow, mukhang dahil dito tumaas na yung level ng, ng, ano, ng wisdom ko at may magagamit na naman ako para lalo akong umasenso. Yan. Sige nga, type nyo. Ayan, sabi ni Cheska, uh, binavalue daw niya yung, uh, yung explanation mo ko si Jeannie ng clarity. Yan. Sige, kayo mga iba dyan, mag-type naman kayo. Okay, ano yung mga aha moments nyo? Ayan, sabi ni Zino, yung course correct. Di ba? Ibig sabihin, pag hindi nangyari, di ba? Iba yung nangyari, yung kabaliktaran, uh, yung negative yung nangyari, eh, huwag ka naman madismaya. Ibig sabihin, kailangan mo lang i-change yung course ulit. Di ba? Parang GPS na babalik ka lang dun sa tamang daanan. Kasi di ba pag nag-waste ka, nag, kung manunong kayo mag-drive eh, yung waste, medyo minsan siraulo din yung waste eh. Dadaling ka saan-saan eh. Yung pala doon lang yung daan eh. Pero di ba, babalik ka pa rin doon sa daan na yon papunta doon sa destination. So kailangan, you have to trust your inner guidance. Kasi remember this, everything happening to us, whether good or bad, is always in the perfect all right, will of God. Tandaan niyo yan. Dapat nga pag may nangyari sa yung malas, huwag kang magalit kasi plano pa rin yun ng Diyos na mangyari sa'yo. I-welcome mo yun. I-welcome mo yun. Kasi the more mong lalabanan yun, the more you resist, the more, the more ka magsistay dun sa negative energy, the more malas yung ma-attract mo. Ayan. Sabi naman ni Merlin, akin Sir John, clearing. Wow, very good. Ana naman, ano ba? I Minerva mean, pala. Clarity and subconscious mind reprogramming. Very good. Kay Bong, uh, yan, in clearing. Okay, very good. Tapos sabi ni John Elmer naman, manifesting my version 2.0. <laughs> okay. So, I guess uh, that's it for now. Ang dami nyo na na-pick up, ha? And uh, I guess we have to uh, uh, pause for a moment and say our words of thanks naman or gratitude kay Coach Jeannie for humbly uh, offering this for free. Uh, to all of you na nagturo siya ngayon. And uh, Coach Jeannie, if I may ask lang bago tayo maghiwahiwalay, uh, if they wanted to uh, uh, buy your book, I don't know, is it available already in Amazon or are you planning to put it in Amazon? Uh, it's in Amazon. Um, ano, um, it's in Amazon right now. At saka may oh, it's available. Uh, may podcast din ako. It's, um, it has a lot of yung mga learnings then uh, related to learnings mo mga interview. Yung podcast mo ba nag uh, it's also posted in uh, in in YouTube your YouTube channel afterwards? Yeah, yeah. Hanap or... na lang yung YouTube. So channel. Uh, what do they have to type in YouTube to find you? Ah, uh, yung pangalan ko Jenny Hermoso, G E N I E H E R M O S O. Ayun, G uh, yan hanapin niyo lang Jenny Hermoso, Jenny as in Jenny in the bottle and then Hermo uh -huh. Hermoso. Yan. So you can uh, subscribe and uh, to her channel. Kasi doon, nag interview siya ng mga law of attraction experts from all over the world. And ako, uh, Jeannie, sana mapa mapaunlakan mo rin na makorek mo naman si Sir John mo doon sa mga experts na ini-interview mo para pwede rin natin silang i-guest dito sa Success Community uh, uh, TV one of these days. Yung mga foreigners na, na naging mentors mo dyan sa Amerika. Baka ikaw magiging doorway namin para sa mga trainers dyan sa Amerika because uh, from my understanding, from what you said, uh, you, you've been attending a lot of trainings and meeting a lot of coaches and mentors dyan. Di ba? Tama ba ako? Oh, totoo, Gabi. Kasi I just uh, followed your advice. Sabi niyo, learn. You told me, learn. And talaga. So after that, I just ran away with it talaga. Yeah, so masasabi mo ba, Coach Jeannie, na tama ba yung binigay kong advice? How do you feel now that you've, you've grown uh, in wisdom? Um, Talaga, it's, I think it's the best advice. Kasi when you told me, I think we were in fully booked and I asked Sir John, ano ba yung advice mo sa akin, you know? Uh, what can I take away? Sabi mo, you have to really never stop learning, yung sabi mo. 
you really have to learn ganyan sabi ko oh okay at uh, when i went to uh, when i came here to the us talagang i just took all the classes took all the seminars yung mga tihar breakfast seminars lahat lahat um so naging ano certified yung kanina may picture ka is that an actor di ba hindi ba si ano yon Si Aqua. Uh, si Aqua man yung katabi mo doon, di ba? Wow! <laughs> Grabe kang mag-attract. <laughs> wow! He, he, is he really huge? I mean, uh, laki ng muscle niya. Sa, sa, I mean, in cinema, di ba? So, he's really, uh, you know, uh, parang matikas talaga, tsaka matipuno eh, di ba? Na lalaki eh. Uh, oh, uh, wow. 6'4", tangkad talaga. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh parang mabait siya. Wow, so you've been uh, rubbing elbows with Hollywood stars. I- iba ka na mag-attract, ha? <laughs> And sabi mo nga, even the president just, uh, you know, walk, walked by you, di ba? <laughs> walked past you. Yeah, all right. So, ayan. So, guys, uh, uh, Coach Jeannie is actually one of my uh, uh, more active students uh, way, way back years when she was still in the Philippines. So, ito yung ano, dito niya nakikita yung development, eh, na pag nakuha mo na to in years to come you can live the life and now i'm very happy to hear uh Jeannie na andyan na yung love life mo dadati wala your dream remember traveling di ba now you travel iniikot mo yung buong america wow what a life i'm so proud of you and uh and in my heart i know you deserve it kasi ikaw naman talaga ay uh, tao na ano eh uh, na you know you always uh what do you call this you are open to listening to advice and uh, and coaching eh ibig sabihin coachable ka kasi hindi mo sinarado yung sarili mo uh, knowing na para alam niyo lang guys uh, coach Jeannie was born in a already well off family may kaya na yung pamilya niya but you know i, I know because uh, she also wanted to uh, express her independence and uh, i'm really glad na you know you're making it big on your own yeah and i'm proud of you very very proud of you i'm proud to be one of your mentors na sa mga naabot mo all right and uh, i hope someday we'll meet again na maybe not in cebu anymore but jan sa us yeah kasi actually dumadami na rin ang success community members diyan sa america eh. i think it's more than a thousand na yung members namin diyan all right so again uh, let's uh, Ayan, ang dami na nag-express ng words of thanks nila kay Coach Jeannie. Hanggang dito na lang tayo. Guys, uh, allow me to uh, close in prayer right now. Okay, um, I'll make a declaration and a decree right now for everybody. I declare and I decree that God Almighty, creator of the entire universe, the Alpha and the Omega, the uh, I am that I am presence, the infinite one, the infinite intelligence, be upon us. Let us feel your energy right now through the power of the Holy Spirit. And I declare and I decree right now that you open the windows and doors of heaven and overflow upon all of us watching right now who are part of this mastermind right now that you overflow our lives with infinite abundance and prosperity in all areas. Padamihin niyo po yung mga pera sa aming mga bank accounts. Multiply exponentially our investments. Lead us to the right people, the right business partners. Cause the healing of our mind, body, and soul as well as our relationships and all of this and all of our highest dreams and aspirations. We claim it today that you have already given it and we surrender to you with 100% full faith today that it is already done. And this we ask in your mighty name, I am that I am, I am that I am, I am that I am, and so it is Amen. All right. So magandang araw. Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao. Ito po ang inyong lingkod. The Philippines number one success coach John Calup together with coach Jeannie and of course our panelists uh, Jason Padilla, uh, coach Jason, coach Richard Salnuan, coach Mary Ann Basas. Greeting you a happy weekend. Huwag niyo pong kakalimutan uh, bukas we have a uh, it's a miracle show ng 7:30 din po. So just tune in to www.facebook.com sa John Calo Training at magkita-kita po tayo sa ating show for tomorrow. So again, paalam sa inyo lahat and uh, Coach Jeannie and I would like to uh, leave all of you with this uh, song, Millionaire Mind Song, and I hope you love it and we'll see you again in our okay, future shows. Magandang araw, paalam po sa inyong lahat. Thank you, thank you sa lahat. Thank you, Coach Jeannie. Thank you, Jeannie. Salamat sa Salamat kayo, ma'am. Nakit sa'yo. Ayan, Richard. Thank you so much.
Ulit, 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 Ulit,